Good afternoon, my name is John Warner, glad to be bringing you baseball from Rome, Georgia, the site of today's contest between the University of Alabama Huntsville Chargers and the Shorter University Hawks. The Alabama Huntsville Chargers took game one of the series off a strong performance from their pitching staff. Starter Connor Brook worked seven and two-thirds innings, allowing just one run, while Will Hodelin in relief, finishing up the final inning in a third of the game, yielded no runs on no hits. It was a tough day for the Hawks' offense yesterday, but they'll look to get back on track today here in this Sunday afternoon doubleheader. Two games to be played today, so still a chance for the Hawks to win the series outright, so definitely a lot to play for here on this Sunday afternoon in Rome. Jesse Simpson takes the mound for the Hawks here in Game 2 of the series, Game 1 of the doubleheader. First pitch and more coming up next. For the Hawks defensively, identical to their defensive output yesterday. In left to right, Jones in left, Kraus in center, and Jacob Pager in right. Isaac Harkins at third, Tommy Schroeder at short, Norman Leon at second, Justin Barnes at first. Logan Stockton will do the catching today, and his battery mate on the mound, number 23, Jesse Simpson. Jesse Simpson is a righty, standing six foot three, a senior from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, a transfer from Colby Community College. We'll get the ball for the Hawks, and we are just about ready for action here in game two of the series. Up first to hit is the center fielder, Garrett Bodine, ready to lead things off for his Chargers here in the top half of the first inning. Simpson working from the stretch, looks in, kicks and delivers, down low for ball one, and that's how things get underway here in game one of this Sunday afternoon doubleheader. one -oh from Simpson. Inside corner, strike one. Nice pitch there from Jesse Simpson. Working against Garrett Bodine, who was one for five out of the leadoff spot yesterday in game one. Hawks did a fairly nice job neutralizing his bat at the top of the order. No small task. Garrett Bodine, a very prolific hitter. 1-1 one -one pitch, missed away. Coming into play today, Bodine batting 368, 95 at-bats in 2023. 35 hits, including four doubles, a triple, a home run, as well as 10 RBIs. Bodine has been a force all season long at the top of the Chargers order. He waits the 2-1 from Simpson. It's high and in for ball three. Bodine slugging 463 on the year. 460 on base percentage. Hitters count here. Three balls and a strike. On the ground is short. Schroeder to his left with a diving stop, but it's in and out of his glove. It rolls into shallow center field. And Garrett Bodine will reach first base on an infield single. Leadoff man on here in the top of the first inning. Nearly another outstanding play from Tommy Schroeder. He was all over the field defensively yesterday, but unable to keep it in the glove with the dive. It rolled out, and he had no play. That'll bring up Carson Vialta, the dangerous left-handed hitter. Had a big day at the plate yesterday. Hawks shift him to pull. First pitch from Simpson. Down and out, ball one. Man at four, excuse me, man at first. He's aboard with nobody else in the inning. Fastball strike from Simpson. For Simpson on the year, a 5.59 ERA, making his fifth appearance of the season. It's third start. Takes the runner at first, now to the plate. Popped up, center field. 
So it'd be no trouble for Cody Kraus moving in a few steps and makes a head high grab for out number one. Good work by Jesse Simpson to get a dangerous hitter. There's the first out on the top of the first inning. Next to the battle will be Landon Ezel, the Chargers third baseman. Hawks play him to pull as well. Second baseman Norman Leon standing right behind the bag at second. Shortstop Schroeder shaded around to the third base bag. First pitch, high, ball one. Ezel batting a team leading 438, nearing 100 at bats on the year. Batting third today for the Chargers. Odin's running. Pitch a ball. The throw down by Stockton is not in time. Odin with a stolen bag. He stands at second with one out in the inning. Chargers had a lot of trouble running on Logan Stockton in yesterday's ball game. He threw out three runners on the base pass, but unsuccessful here. Bodine now a perfect 9 of 9 and stole a base attempts in 2023. So getting it done at the plate and on the base pass is Garrett Bodine. 2-0 from Simpson. Hit hard up the middle. Leon with a diving stop. It's through into center field. Around comes Bodine to score. It's one to nothing Chargers. Ground ball on the second base side of the bag right up the middle. Leon with a dive to his left, but came up empty. Couldn't knock it down. And Alabama Huntsville has grabbed an early one to nothing lead off the RBI single from Landon Ezel. That'll bring up Brennan Vasquez, the Chargers' first baseman. He swings at the first pitch and fouls out of play. Nothing in one. Brennan Vasquez, 6'2", 235 pound graduate student from Milton, Florida. He's a transfer from Brown University. Batting in a cleanup spot as he did yesterday. Manning first base for the Chargers. Jesse Simpson and the Hawks looking to limit the damage here in the top of the first inning. Pitch from Simpson misses outside for ball one. Simpson checks the runner at first. Now to the plate. Fastball just missed the outside corner. Makes it two and one. Two on the count on Vasquez. Simpson sets up the letters. Comes to the plate. It's well outside for ball three. Very chilly day for baseball here today in Rome. 37 degrees at first pitch. Definitely not the most pleasant of days. As Simpson fires a 3-1. It's hit high in the air to right. That chases Pager back. Moving to his right. He's at the wall. He leaps. He can't get it. He's out of room. It's a home run. Brennan Vasquez goes deep and makes it 3 to nothing. Chargers. And Vasquez with a towering fly ball through the Georgia sky. Pedro looked like he was going to have a play on it, but kept moving back. Ball kept carrying and he carried right on out of here for a two run shot to make it three to nothing. Here's Brock Butler, the designated hitter. First pitch to him misses up and in for strike. Thought it missed up and in, excuse me. It caught the strike zone. Very top of the team hits for Butler in those 59 at-bats, including three doubles and three home runs, as well as 16 RBIs. So maybe not a profound on-base threat, but the four long balls, you can see Butler definitely a threat to go deep. This one runs inside and gets him. 
That'll be a hit by pitch of Brock Butler. And it will bring up the left, the right fielder, excuse me, Jackson Lindsay. But before that can happen, Wes Timmons will take a trip to the mound. And he will decide the fate of Jesse Simpson in the early going here. He will take the ball from his starter and will make the call to the bullpen. So Hawks in an early 3 nothing hole with one out in the top of the first inning, going to the bullpen, and we'll be right back. New pitcher on the mound for the Hawks is number 15, Coy Martin, the lefty standing six foot one. He's a sophomore from Ball Ground, Georgia, a transfer from Sneed State Community College. Well, come in perhaps a little earlier than he expected. Top of the first inning, just one out. Chargers still at the plate. Jackson Lindsay, the batter. Breaking ball, drops in for a strike, nothing in one. Nice start by Coy Martin to get ahead of Jackson Lindsay, the Chargers right fielder. Martin appeared in the ball game yesterday, pitched just a third of an inning. Strike at the knees, nothing in two. Good fastball there from Martin. Good location, down and out. Martin came on to record one out in the top of the ninth. He retired Garrett Bodine at the top of the order for the Chargers. Got him to fly out to the right fielder, Pager. Out in front, right side, into the dugout. Nearly a few casualties in the Alabama-Huntsville dugout, but luckily ball evaded any damage in there. Lindsay well out in front of that breaking ball, pulled it all the way into the dugout. So We'll see what Coy Martin has for him here on another 0-2 pitch. One out in the top of the first inning. In the dirt, Lindsay able to check his swing. Martin still ahead, a ball and two strikes. Man at first, one out in the inning. Fastball called, strike three. Coy Martin catches Jackson. Lindsey looking at a fastball. He's the second out of the inning. Here's Will Knowles, the lefty hitting catcher. First pitch from Martin to him is shot first base side foul. One of the Chargers players unable to make the play, hanging over the dugout rail, hits right off his hand. It goes to strike one. Pitch from Martin in the dirt, blocked by Stockton. Nice job to keep Butler at bay at, at first base. 
Will Knowles did not play yesterday. Dylan Johnston did the catching for the Chargers, but we'll see if it's Will Knowles that catches game two and back to Johnston for three, or if Will will be tasked with catching all day today. Back pick over to first base after the swing and miss, but nothing doing. Martin, a strike away from any of the inning. Chargers already three runs across. Looking for more here with two outs. Here's the one-two. Got him swinging. It's off the glove of Stockton. Makes the peg down to first base. And nice job by Coy Martin out of the bullpen. Two strikeouts to bring it into the top of the first inning, but not before the Chargers strike for three. Two of them coming off of a two-run shot by Brennan Vasquez. After one half, it's the Chargers three and the Hawks nothing. For the Chargers defensively, more or less the same as yesterday with the exception of one position. From left to right in the outfield, Hunter Tillman, Garrett Bodine, Jackson Lindsay. From third base across, Landon Ezel, Mitchell Rocher, the shortstop, Carson Vialta, the second baseman, Brennan Vasquez at first, Will Knowles behind the plate, and on the mound for the Chargers is number 42, Andre Orselli, 5 foot 10 inch, 205 pound graduate student from Lake Orion, Michigan, a transfer from Ball State University. We'll get the ball here in game two for the Chargers. He'll be greeted first by Jacob Pager, who takes outside for ball one. Pager batted in the sixth spot yesterday, moving up to leadoff today. Hawks shuffling the order around a little bit. For, grounds this one up the middle. Backhanded by Vialta. Ball pops up. Throw to first base. is going to be late. Jacob Pager reaches first base with a presumable infield single, depending on how it's scored. Vialta was there with the backhand. Ball popped in and out of his glove right back to him. But not in time to get the fleet footed Jacob Pager. It will be scored an infield single. Lead off man aboard here for the Hawks in the home half of the first. Here's Kobe Jones. Drove in the Hawks' lone run yesterday afternoon. Brought home Tommy Schroeder after his two out double. And that was it for the Hawks offensively yesterday. Strike called, 0-1. Despite the rough time they had yesterday, Hawks got the leadoff man aboard here in the bottom of the first, looking to answer back to the three runs. Pager's running, pitch is low, throw down to second base, is in time. Jacob Pager cut down trying to steal, and the infield single is immediately erased on the caught stealing. Will Knowles behind the plate getting to show off the arm early. A strike down to the bag at second to get his man. And there's one out here in the bottom of the first. Only the 
second time all season the Patriots been third on the base pass. He's now 9 for 11 on the year in stolen base attempts. 1-1 one, one pitch. It's popped up. Third baseman Ezel in pursuit. Now coming back into fair territory. He won't have a play. He kicks it towards the dugout. And Kobe Jones will end up at second base. Pop up right up the chute. The catcher Knowles didn't see it at all. Ezel made the play in foul territory. Inadvertently kicked it with his foot towards the dugout. And the Hawks catch a break. Jones ends up at second on the play. It's scored as a hit. So back-to-back -back hits for the Hawks in the home half of the first. They have a runner at second now with one out. And Tommy Schroeder striding to the plate. See if the Hawks can cash in on their good fortunes. Jones stands at second. First pitch to Schroeder. Popped weakly into shallow right field. Second baseman Vialta in pursuit. He can't get there. It drops. Jones on his way to second. He will arrive there standing. A bloop single for Schroeder down the right field line. Escaped the grasp of Lindsey, the right fielder. Vialta, the second baseman. Three consecutive hits for the Hawks have brought the tying run to the plate here in the early going in the form of Gavin Millines. Hawks certainly not hitting the ball hard. An infield single by Pager, an infield double by Kobe Jones, and now a bloop single down the right field line to place runners at the corners and one out. First pitch to Millines is upstairs, ball one. Big day for Gavin Millines. Not only is he batting fourth playing the designated hitter spot for the Hawks, but it's also his 20th birthday. Schroeder's running. The throw goes down to second base. He is safe. Ball dropped. Second baseman Vialta could not apply the tag. Certainly would have been in time to retire Schroeder. But fortunately for the Hawks, once again, seems to be a theme here in this inning. Chargers cannot make the play defensively. It's a good one-hop throw. Vialta just had some trouble with it in and out of his glove. The Hawks now have two men in scoring position with one out in the bottom of the first. Orselli ready. Pitch to Milines in the dirt. Eight stolen base on the year for Tommy Schroeder. Two one. Millines high and deep in the air to right field. That chases back Lindsay. It's off the wall. Co Jones scores. Schroeder right behind him, and Gavin Millines has made it a three-two ball game. That ball almost left the park right off the wall. And the Hawks do indeed cash in on the defensive miscues by Alabama Huntsville. Gavin Millines, two RBI double, makes the score three to two. That'll bring up Justin Barnes, the Hawks' first baseman. Gavin Millines, a tying run at second base. First pitch, fastball over the outside edge, strike one. Nice pitch for Morselli after the double by Millines. Millines showing off the power. Opposite field double off the wall. Ball almost got out of here to the opposite field. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss by Barnes, nothing in two. Count quickly, nothing and two on the Hawks' first baseman. Barnes looking to drive in mill lines and tie this game here in the first inning. Barnes takes high and out. Pitch didn't miss my much. The Alabama Huntsville dugout wanted that call, but they don't get it. Instead, it's ball one. Orselli checks the runner, now to the plate. Chopped. Off the hand of the of the pitcher. Shortstop feels it, throws the first, just in time. Orselli stuck out his bare hand, almost got a piece of that baseball. Went to the shortstop, Rotier, who made a nice play on it to get Barnes at first. 
Milans advances 90 feet to third base, and here's Norman Leon. First pitch to Leon, a call strike, nothing in one. Has just missed. Marcelli went to a crouch in disapproval of that call. He can tell he wanted it. Didn't get it, and instead it's a one ball and one strike count on the Hawks' second baseman. Gavin Millon's at third, two outs in the bottom of the first. This one just misses outside. Judging off the body language of Andre Orselli, the Chargers starter, certainly not seeing eye to eye with the home plate umpire right now. Two one pitch is fouled back out of play, two and two. Hawks have already doubled their offensive output from yesterday's ball game. Just one run in nine innings yesterday. Two runs here in the bottom of the first. They trail three to two here in the early going. Two two. Hit softly. Shallow center field. Vialta going back. He makes the play in shallow center to retire the side. Gavin Millines drives home a pair with his opposite field double off the wall. We head to the second inning. Hawks trail three to two. Coy Martin back to work here in the top of the second inning. Looking to keep the Chargers off the scoreboard. Did a nice job in relief getting two strikeouts to get the second and third outs to bring it into the first inning after the Chargers put up three runs off the Hawks starter, Jesse Simpson. Two of them coming from a two-run homer from Brennan Vasquez. And that's where we stand, three to two. Here in the second inning. Eight, nine, and one of the order for the Chargers, starting with Mitchell Rotier. He takes high and out, ball one. One a pitch. Down and in, ball two. For Martin on the season, a 5.06 ERA, making his eighth appearance, all in relief. Pitched five and a third innings in 2023 for the Hawks. 2 0 pitch hit hard on the ground to second base. Leon has it, spins, throws, and plenty of time to get Rotier. Good start from Martin. Nice play from Norman Leon at second. One out in the second inning. Ball's hit hard off the bat of Rotier, but unfortunately for him, Norman Leon moving quickly to his left, spinning and throwing. And there's one out now for the left fielder, Hunter Tillman. Batting ninth in playing left field just as he did yesterday. Tillman was 0 for 4 in that ball game with the strikeout. Here go, here go, 
Lefty lefty matchup. Markin working against Tillman. He shows Bun, pulls back for ball one. That bun attempt sent Isaac Harkins, the Hawks third baseman, charging in from his position at third. Position right at the cut of the grass. One foot on the grass, one foot on the dirt. A 1 0. Breaking ball, up and away, 2 0. Garrett Bodine, the center fielder, top of the order, looms on deck. He singled and came around to score the game's opening run. Fastball outside corner, strike one. Great pitch there from Coy Martin. Fastball painted right over the outside corner. Good pitch and a 2 0 count. A lot of action early in this one. Five runs, seven hits between the two sides. And it's only the second inning. This one skips in the dirt for ball three. Tillman, a 400 hitter in 30 at bats, 12 hits, including two doubles, eight RBIs. 3 1 to him here is down low, ball four, a one out base runner. And it's back to the top now for Garrett Bodine. First walk of the day issued by the Hawks. And following that walk, it'll bring out a visit from pitching coach Craig Folds. He'll talk things over with his lefty, and we'll step aside for a brief moment. So Folds departs after a fairly lengthy conversation with Coy Martin, the lefty, getting ready to face the top of the order. Martin still navigating his first trip through the order. Came on with just one out on the top of the first inning. Man at first, one out. First pitch to Bodine is down and out for ball one. Martin started him off with a breaking ball, but could not find the zone. This one's down low, 2 0. Hitters count for Garrett Bodine. One of the Gulf South Conference's finest players. In fact, in 2022, he was first team all conference in the Gulf South. 2 0. Swinging in, he fouls it back. Ball ricochets off the net, back into fair territory. Retrieved by Logan Stockton, who promptly returns it to the home plate umpire. Martin with a new baseball and a 2-1 and one count against the Charger center fielder. They got the runner picked off. Barnes throws it to second base. Leon applies the tag. They got him. Coy Martin picks off Hunter Tillman trying to steal. He's the second out of the inning. All of a sudden, base is empty and two outs. And a two and one count on Garrett Bodine. Martin looking to record the final out and send the Hawks back to the plate in the bottom of the second. Out in front, fouled back yet again, two and two. Count even, the pitch. Off his knuckles, out of play, foul off to the right side. Bodine behind on that fastball. Adjusted enough to get his bat to it and spray it off to the right side, out of play, foul. Count holds it two and two. Fastball missed down and in, ball three. Bodine has worked it to full, three balls and two strikes. Base is empty, two outs here in the top of the second. Martin looking for the final out to keep the Chargers off the scoreboard. 
And not close. He lost Bodine, ball four. Back to back walks for Coy Martin. The, the previous one was erased on the pickoff. Man at first now for Carson Vialta. Facing Jesse Simpson at the top of the first inning. Vialta flew out to center field. Getting his first look at Coy Martin here. Lefty lefty matchup. Martin now working from the stretch. His first pitch. Fastball over the outside corner. Nice pitch from Martin. Nothing in one. Nice job by Martin to get ahead after the walk. Facing a 375 hitter in the form of Carson Vialta. Down and in with a fastball. Ball one. 375 average for Vialta. 72 at-bats. 27 hits, including four doubles, a triple, two home runs, and 23 RBIs. 1-1. One, one. Right at the knee, strike two. Beautiful fastball there from Coy Martin. Fastball right at Carson Vialta's knees. Martin ahead now, ball and two strikes. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Third strikeout for Coy Martin. This one ends the top of the second inning. No runs, no hits, and a man left. We head to the bottom of the second inning. Chargers lead 3-2. to two. Just about ready for play here in the bottom of the second inning. Hawks will have the bottom of the order due up, starting with Logan Stockton, the Hawks catcher. Quiet day for Stockton yesterday at the play at 0 for 3. But looking to turn that around and get things going for the Hawks offense. That put up two runs in the bottom of the first inning. And looking for more here in the second. Andre Orselli still on the mound for the Chargers. First pitch to Stockton misses high, ball one. Logan Stockton, 5'9", junior from Brazelton, Georgia, graduate of Jackson County High School. 1-0 pitch, it's a swing and a miss. Hardy hack there from the Hawks catcher, but Stockton came up empty. It's a ball and a strike. Too high, ball two. Andre Orselli on the mound, a 2.84 ERA, making his seventh appearance of the year. All starts. Called strike, two and two. Stockton, not really over the moon with that call. Definitely could have been called high and away, but instead it's a two and two count on the Hawks' backstop. Orselli's 2-2 offering is sprayed out of play foul. Stockton a little late on that fastball. Lined it out of play off to the right side over the dugout and into the parking lot. 31 and two-thirds innings under his belt on the year for Orselli entering play today. Another 2-2 from him. Behind again, and he lines it off to the right side into the visitor's bullpen. Orselli, very good walk to strikeout ratio. 26 strikeouts on the year. That's tied for best on the team. Just four walks and 31 and two-thirds innings pitch. So this guy throws strikes. 
2-2 pitch, chopped, left side, past the mound, third baseman Ezel charges, off balance throw, got him! Nice play by Landon Ezel at third base. Weak chopper just past the mound, fielded on the run, threw it on the run. Nice throw to his first baseman Vasquez to get his man stocking at first. And there's one out here in the bottom of the second. Here's Isaac Harkins. First pitch to him. Strike called, nothing in one. Harkins did not start yesterday, but came on in favor of Jacob Woods in the middle innings of that one. Did get one at bat, but struck out looking. Too high, ball one. A ball and a strike on the Hawks' third baseman. Here it is to Harkins. Up and in. Breaking ball there from Marcelli, but he couldn't get the call. Harkins ahead now, two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss by Harkins. Marcelli got the fastball by him to even the count. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Got him swinging, strike three. Back-to-back -back fastballs by Orsilli, right by the bat of Harkins. He's a strikeout victim for out number two. First strikeout of the affair for Orsilli. He is now the team leader in that category with 27 on the year. Here's Cody Krause, the Hawks center fielder. Swing and a miss. Cross batted in the three hole yesterday, moving down to nine today. Down low, ball one. One one pitch misses up and away. Cross ahead, two balls and a strike. At the knee, strike two. Borderline call, but goes in favor of the Chargers. Fastball right at knee level. We're still a strike away from ending the inning. Foul ball at the plate. Krauss just able to get a piece of that baseball. And the bottom of the second inning will live on for at least one more pitch. Krauss trying to ignite a two-out rally, batting in the nine spot. Jacob Pager in the top of the order awaits on deck. Another 2-2 from Andre Orselli is fouled back. Good battle by Krauss here. Making Orselli work. Two two. Got him. Swing and strike three. Back to back strikeouts of Harkins and Kraus. Cement a one two three inning on the mound for Andre Orselli. He breezes right through the Hawks in the second. After two, Blake is the Chargers three and the Hawks two.
An inning and two-thirds of scoreless work thus far for Hawks reliever Coy Martin. He looked up to keep up his good work. Facing the middle of the Chargers order, Landon Ezel, Brennan Vasquez, and Brock Butler do up for Alabama Huntsville here in the third. First pitch from Martin. Just missed the inside corner. Three runs in the top of the first of the Chargers. Hawks answered with two of their own, but scoreless second innings. Twirled by both Coy Martin and Andre Orselli. Swing and a miss. As will miss right over the top of that change up from Martin. Good off speed pitch there to even the count. One pitch to Ezel, the swing and a miss. Good pitch from Martin over the outside half. Ezel came up empty with his swing, and it's a ball and two strikes on the Chargers' third baseman. Now the 1-2. Out in front, he fouls it out of play. The University of Alabama Huntsville enters play with a 14-11 overall record. They're 6-4 and Gulf South Conference play. Good for fourth place in the standings. One-two pitch. Hit hard in the right field, a base hit. Ezel goes against the shift. A hard line drive right through second base into the outfield grass and right, and a leadoff mint aboard for the Chargers here in the third. Second hit of the afternoon for Ezel. He's two for two already padding his already team-leading 438 average. That brings up Brennan Vasquez, who went deep in his first at-bat. First offering from Martin. Misses just high for ball one. Vasquez, a 284 hitter, 74 at-bats on the season, 21 hits, including five doubles, and now five home runs after his long ball in the first inning. Fastball strike over the outside. Corner one and one. Good pitch from Martin. Facing a dangerous hitter in the form of first baseman Brennan Vasquez. Popped up. Left side. Harkins in pursuit, but it's well out of play. Brock Butler, the designated hitter, lurks on deck. Martin trying to deal with Brennan Vasquez, the Chargers' first baseman. Already a home run under his belt in this one. Martin and the Hawks looking to retire him here with nobody out in the third. Fastball just missed, up and away. off over to first base. Back safely is Ezel. Hawks in our play with a sub 500 record, 11 and 12 overall. 6 and 7 now in goal conference play after the loss yesterday. Chopped first base side over the dugout foul. Hawks currently standing at 8th in the Gulf South Conference standings. Chance to win two out of three in the series if they can sweep the doubleheader today. Hawks have lost the last pr two previous series against Valdosta State and Montevallo. This one's popped up. Left side. Harkins calling for it. He will not make the catch. Instead, he'll throw it to second and get the out. So Harkins unable to come up with the fly ball, but because of the infield fly, still had plenty of time to get Ezel at second base. So a fielder's choice. Vasquez reaches first. Ezel retired. One out here in the third. Here's Brock Butler. This pitch is hammered in the air to deep left center field. Jones on the move to. He makes the catch. Vasquez slid into the bag at second. The throw goes to Leon. But they will not have time to get Vasquez at first. Nice play in deep left center field by Kobe Jones moving to his left. He retires Butler on the line out, and there's two away.
Hawks might have had a chance for a double play there. Vasquez slid into the bag at second. He clearly was not tracking that baseball off the bat. But he's able to scoot back to the bag at first before the throw, so there's no double play. Two outs now for Jackson Lindsay. On the ground to first, it ricochets out to the second baseman, Leon, back to the first baseman, Barnes, and Coy Martin and the Hawks are out of the top of the third inning. Nice play defensively by the Hawks. It ricocheted off the glove of Barnes on the hot shot ground ball right to Norman Leon, who returns the throw back to the bag at first to retire the side. Hawks offense ready to go here in the bottom of the third inning. They have the top of the order due up, starting with Hawks right fielder Jacob Pager. Pager reached first back in the bottom of the first inning on an infield single. Was later caught stealing at second for the first out. But looking to reach base once again here in the third. First pitch down and away, ball one. Marcelli started him off with a changeup, but not of his own. Missed down and away. Pager lifts this one in the air to left. Should be no trouble for Tillman. Backing up, moving to his left, and putting it away for out number one. That'll bring up Kobe Jones. Pager a flyout victim to left, and... Jones batting out with the bases empty. Jones came around to score the game's first run on Gavin Milline's RBI double. Also brought home Tommy Schroeder. Jones, first pitch swinging, fouls it out of play off to the left side. One pitch up and away. Missed there for Morcelli. Well up and out of the zone. Easy take for Kobe Jones. Even the count. Outside, two and one. Line in the left field, a base hit. Tillman over to retrieve it. Jones will hit the brakes at first. A one-out single in the left field for Kobe Jones. Two for due day at the plate for Kobe Jones. That brings up the shortstop, Tommy Schroeder. Schroeder dumped a single down the right field line his first trip. Looking to reach base yet again. And Pick off over to first base, sends Jones back head first with a dive. Hit softly on the ground at first, it's through Vasquez into shallow right. Jones on his way to third, here's the throw, not in time. Ball went right through the wickets of Brennan Vasquez, looked like it was going to be at least one out, maybe two. But instead, a stroke of luck for the Hawks. There's runners at the corners now with one out. It'll be scored in E3 on Vasquez.
tying run now just 90 feet away. Kobe Jones at third, Schroeder at first after the error. Here's Gavin Millines. Doubled off the right field wall his first time up. First pitch swing and he pops it up. Behind the plate, Knowles might have a play. He does not. It's out of play foul. The Millines aggressive at the plate. First pitch swinging. Just found the bleachers behind home plate for strike one. Millines just missed an opposite field home run his first time up. Sending one off the wall, pick off the first base, and Schroeder back just in time. Good move there from Marcelli. Almost caught Tommy Schroeder off the base pass, but alert enough to get back to the bag. They pick off once again, and Schroeder back safely. Oh, one the count. Pitch to the Hawks' designated hitter. A balk has been called. A balk on Andre Orselli will score the Hawks' third run of the day and move Tommy Schroeder 90 feet to second base. Orselli did not come set. The home plate umpire all over it. Jones comes home to score his second run of the day to tie the game at three. Schroeder is second, Millon's at the plate, one out, chops this one to first, Vasquez handles this one, he takes it to the bag, Schroeder advances to third, a productive out for Millon, Schroeder just 90 feet away at third base. Vasquez able to handle this one off the high hop, and the Hawks now with a chance to grab the lead, Schroeder at third base, two outs here in the bottom of the third inning. First pitch to Barnes in the dirt, blocked by Knowles. Ball one. One oh pitch to Barnes. Foul out of play off to the right, one and one. Barnes batting in the five spot in this one, and the Hawks will be looking for some more production out of the middle and bottom of their order. Five through nine in the order yesterday was a combined 0 for 18. Hawks will definitely be looking for some production from this spot in the order. 1-1 one, one pitch to Barnes, down and away. Chance for the Hawks to grab a lead. Tommy Schroeder at third base, two outs. Justin Barnes, the Hawks' first baseman at the plate. Andre Orselli deals the 2-1. In the air to center field. Bodine moving over and putting it away for out number three. But for the Hawks, one run, one hit, one error, and one balk on the mound by Andre Orselli. Ties the game at three. We head to the fourth square at 3-3. Three three.
New pitcher on the mound for the Hawks is number 66, Davis Bergen, the hard throwing righty, standing six foot one. He's a graduate student from Trustville, Georgia, a transfer from McNeese State University. We'll take aim at the bottom of the Chargers order, starting with catcher Will Knowles. Virgin winds and delivers the first pitch. In there for a strike, nothing in one. Virgin making just his fifth appearance of the year at 1.5 ERA in six innings pitched. In the dirt. Nice job by Coley Martin in relief for the Hawks. Came on with one out in the top of the first inning. Pitched two and two dirt scoreless innings. Three strikeouts, two walks, and just one hit allowed. 1-1 from Burgeon, runs inside, and a foul ball. A foul ball off the knob of the bat of Will Knowles. Tough break there for the Chargers catcher, but it's a one and two count on the lefty hitting Will Knowles. The one two from Burgeon. Chopped to short. Schroeder handles the high hop. Sets his feet and throws a strike to first base. One up and one down here in the top of the fourth inning. That'll bring up Mitchell Rotier. Rotier grounded out to the second baseman, Leon, and his lone trip to the plate. Good start for Burgeon. Third Hawks pitcher of the day thus far. Second out of the bullpen. First pitch is a curveball that dips down and away. Rotier batting a healthy 364 and 77 at bats entering play today. 28 hits, including five doubles and a homer. Good fastball there from Burgeon, strike one. Lively heater out of the right arm of Davis Burgeon. Defense replacement for the Hawks, Jacob Woods checks in at third base for Isaac Harkins as this one dips down and away, 2-1. and one. Up and in, behind the head of Mitchell Rochier, in fact. And a 3-1 and one count on the Chargers shortstop. That cannot be too comforting of a feeling for Rotier. Lively fastball, whizzing right behind your head. Now the 3-1. This one's in the zone. Strike two. Rotier had definitely thought it was ball four. It was already a step or two out of the batter's box, but umpire tells him to come on back. It's a full count. We'll see if Burgeon can capitalize. A full count on the Charger shortstop. In the dirt, not close. Virgin slipped on delivery of that baseball. And Rotier gets his walk after all. A one-out base runner for Hunter Tillman. Here's Hunter Tillman. He walked and was picked off by Coy Martin back in the second inning. One on one out, Hawks looking for a double play. First pitch here is up and away. Ball one. And the dirt gets away from Stockton, but not far enough for a rotier to advance. Chargers scored the first three runs of this ball game. They led three to nothing after the first half inning, but the Hawks responded with two in the bottom of the first and one more coming across in the third inning off of a called balk against starter Andre Orselli. It chased home Kobe Jones to tie the game. Pick off over to first base. He gets away from Barnes. Into the visitor's bullpen, and Rotier will advance up to second base on the throwing error from the pitcher Burgeon. E1 allows Rotier to move up into scoring position now and a 2-0 count on Hunter Tillman, the nine-hole hitter.
Hitters count, two balls and no strikes on Hunter Tillman. Pitches, high, ball three. Tillman squared around a bunt, but the pitch was over his head from Burgeon. So after the walk to Rotier, Burgeon all of a sudden behind 3-0 and against Hunter Tillman. See if you can bring it back against the Chargers left fielder. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. Good fastball there from Burgeon right over the plate to get back in the count. This one missed outside. Back-to-back -back walks for Davis Bergen and Garrett Bodine striding to the plate. Top of the order up for the Chargers. The lineup car turns over. One for one day at the plate for Garrett Bodine. A single, a walk, and a run scored. And two trips to the plate. Had a stolen base to his line as well. Swipe second base back in the first inning. This one's high. It's off the mask of Stockton. It ricochets off to the right side. And both runners will move off a base. Not entirely sure what happened there. The fastball hit straight off the mask of Stockton. Or maybe the umpire. Stockton came up empty on that baseball and now a moment to check on the home plate umpire. All three umpires converge as well as Stockton. Home plate umpire says he's good, let's play ball. But as a result of that, Two runners now in scoring position, and the Chargers once again threatening to retake the lead. Stockton will stroll out to the mound for a conversation with his starter, or not starter, but reliever rather, Davis Bergen. Retired Will Knowles on a 6-3 ground out to open the inning, but since then back-to-back -back walks of Mitchell Rotier and Hunter Tillman. And now a miss off the mask of the home plate umpire. A wild pitch has... Place runners at second and third, but just one out in the inning. Here's the 1 0. Fastball in there for a strike. Bodine just one for five in the ball game yesterday. Already a hit here today. Dude, just over three innings of play. Breaking ball in for a strike, one and two. Nice pitch from Burgeon right at the top of the zone. Throws Bodine. And Burgeon looking for a put away pitch now to retire Garrett Bodine. Swing and a miss. Burgeon finds the put away pitch, pulls the string with a breaking ball, and sits down Garrett Bodine on strikes. A big out number two here in the top of the fourth. First strikeout of the day for Burgeon, and it was a big one. Got the leadoff man, Garrett Bodine, and now more than likely it's going to take a two-out hit from Carson Vialta if the Chargers should take the lead here in the top of the fourth inning. Fastball just missed the outside corner. Nice pitch there from Davis Burgeon, but it does not go in his favor. He also played a big part in the win yesterday. One for two game with a home run. This one misses down the way. That solo shot ended up being the difference in the ball game as the Chargers won two to one. Home run, RBI, two runs scored, a hit by pitch, and a walk. Carson Vialta was all over the place yesterday for Alabama Huntsville. 2 0 count here. Pitch home. Up and away, ball three. Bergen and the Hawks do have first base open. Should he lose Vialta to ball four? See if this pitch is anywhere close, or if they are content to let Vialta have the bag. 
It's not close off the glove of Stockton, but it ricochets back to him. Friendly bounce. So Rocher un unable to score from third base, but that loads the bases now for Landon Ezel. Landon Ezel will bat now with the bases loaded. Biggest moment in this game up to this point. Bases full of chargers, two outs here in the top of the fourth inning. First pitch from Burgeon in the dirt. He checks his swing and Ezel able to hold back. Ball one. Breaking ball in the dirt. Nice job by Stockton behind the dish to prevent that one from eluding his grasp. Virgin sets, now to the plate, up and in, ball two. Three walks in the inning for Virgin. Now a 2-0 count to Landon Easel with the bases loaded. Two for two day at the plate already for Landon Easel, including an RBI. 2-0 pitch, misses down low, ball three. Nowhere to put him. 3 0 count. Virgin's got to throw a strike. He cannot. It's ball four, and the run will come in to score. Give Easel a second RBI of the day on the bases loaded walk. Fourth walk of the inning for Virgin, and the Chargers have reclaimed the lead. It's now 4 to 3. Catcher Logan Stockton will take another visit to the mound in an effort to hopefully calm down his reliever Davis Burgeon. Burgeon retired Will Knowles to open the inning, a 63 ground out. Walked Rotier, walked Tillman, struck out Garrett Bodine, walked Carson Vialta, and just now walked Landon Easel to bring home the game's fourth run for the Chargers. And the Hawks are not out of the woods yet. Cleanup man Brennan Vasquez will stride to the plate. Chance for the Chargers to break this one open. Brennan Vasquez at the plate. Upstairs, ball one. Home run back in the first inning by Brennan Vasquez. Made the score three to nothing. Chargers lead now four to three. And that will draw West Timmons out of the dugout. Slow trip to the mound and he will decide the fate of Davis Bergen. With a 1 0 count on Brendan Vasquez. Bases loaded, two outs, one run already across in the inning for Alabama Huntsville. So it appears that will be all for Davis Burgeon. He will depart with the bases loaded and two outs. One run already across, but he is responsible for all three runners on base. New pitcher coming right up.
New pitcher on the mound for the Hawks is number 24, Cole McDaniel, the six foot four inch sophomore from Dallas, Georgia, a transfer from Butler University. Well, coming in a tough spot, bases loaded, two outs here in the top of the fourth inning, one run already across for the Chargers, but McDaniel looking to put out the fire and keep the score right where it is at four to three. McDaniel started yesterday's ball game, went only an injury, left due to an apparent injury. Just one inning, one strikeout, two walks, and one earned run. Facing Brennan Vasquez here, Davis Spurgeon on the hook for all three runners on base. 1-0 pitch from McDaniels down and away, 2-0. That first ball came from Davis Spurgeon, but McDaniel inherits it as he entered in the middle of the at-bat. A 2-0 count on Brennan Vasquez, who has already gone deep back in the first inning. Down low, 3-0. Three no count on Vasquez. Hawks in danger of their fifth walk of the inning. And now Logan Stockton will come out for a chat after two straight misses from McDaniel. Hoping to get him back on track. Once again, nowhere to put Vasquez. Ball forward, bring home yet another run. Hawks have already walked in a run here in the inning. Eighteen RBIs for Brennan Vasquez entering play today. That total now up to twenty after his two run shot in the first. Three more on the base pass for him here. And as he awaits a 3 0 pitch from Cole McDaniel. It's in there for a strike, three and one. Daniel back in it, looking to put away Vasquez and escape a major jam here in the top of the fourth. Strike two, fastball over the outside corner. McDaniel just a strike away from escaping the inning. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, bases loaded. All three runners will be off with the pitch. Here it is from McDaniel. Foul back. So the runners will reset back to their starting positions. Daniel will reset. Working from the stretch with the bases loaded. There go the runner. Here's the pitch. It's up and in. Ball four. And the second run of the inning comes home to score on the walk. Hunter Tillman comes home to score. And Bruce Brock Butler, rather, will be the batter. Still bases loaded, two outs. First pitch to Butler is fouled out of play. Five walks in the inning by the Hawks. Owen pitch to Butler. Down and away. Like well, an off-speed pitch there from McDaniel, but well out of the zone. Stockton reaching across to his backhand to retrieve that baseball. Breaking ball, just missed. Not a bad miss there from Cole McDaniel, but evidently just out of the zone. Two and one the count. Butler, an 0 for 1 day at the plate with a hit by pitch. Batting 220, entering play today. Swing and a miss. Butler was able actually to get a piece, fouled it straight back. But nonetheless, two strikes. Two and two count. Once again, Cole McDaniel strike away from bringing it into the top of the fourth inning. 
Swing and a miss. They got him. Cole McDaniel strikes out Bruce Butler to end the inning. But five walks from the Hawks pitching staff bring home two runs. The Chargers have pushed their lead now out to five to three. Hawks offense ready to go here in the bottom of the fourth inning, looking hopefully to answer back to those two runs that the Chargers were able to score without benefit of a hit. Five walks in the top half of this inning brought home two runs. Norman Leon to lead things off here in the inning. First pitch to Leon. This is high ball one. At the knees, good pitch from Andre Orselli for strike one. Leon 0 for 1, making his second at bat here in the fourth inning. Popped out to second base, his only time up. Fouls this one straight back, 1 and 2. Leon on that fastball, but just missed underneath. Fouled it straight back off the screen. He's faced now with a 1 and 2 count against Andre Orselli. Leon, a 280 hitter, 75 at bats on the year, 21 hits, nine doubles, one triple, and one home run. This one in the right field line, just foul. Norman Leon missed extra bases by a few feet there. Line drive down the right field line, but hook just wide of the foul line. Leon reaching base at a 385 clip. Hoping to get on here to lead off the bottom of the fourth for the Hawks. 1 2 for Marcelli. Popped up. Shallow right. Should be no trouble for Jackson Lindsay. He puts it away out number one. Norman Leon, a flyout victim, and Logan Stockton will come to the plate. First pitch from Marcelli. This is down low to the Hawks catcher, Logan Stockton. Stockton, a 5-3 put out, his first time up. Landon Easel with a nice play at third base. Foul straight back. Big swing there from Stockton. This is spiraling out of the box after that. Just able to foul it back, and a one-on-one -on -one count on Logan Stockton. One-one pitch misses in the dirt. Stockton batting 242, 66 at bats, 16 hits, including two doubles and nine RBIs. He awaits a 2-1 from Andre Orselli. He sends this one in the air to right, fairly deep. Back goes Lindsay. He can't get it. It's out of here. Logan Stockton. Deposits an opposite field home run over the right field wall. He tucks it in 
just to the left of the foul line. And the Hawks have cut into the deficit. It's now just 5-4 to four after the opposite field home run by Logan Stockton. That'll bring forth Jacob Woods to the plate. Woods came on as a defensive replacement for Harkins. He swings and fouls this one into the mitt of the catcher Knowles for strike one. A one count, pitch to Woods, high, ball one. One one, pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Was down a ball, two strikes. Here it is for Roselli. Off the end of his bat, fouled out of play. First homer of the year for Logan Stockton. An opposite field long ball over the right field wall. Just stayed fair. Hawks have put up their fourth run of the afternoon. Fouled away again. Nice battle here by Jacob Woods. Woods batting in the A spot now for Harkins. Cody Krause, the center fielder, waits on deck. Another one, two. Fouled back again. Great right at bat here from Jacob Woods. Making Andre Orselli work a little bit out there on the mound. This one runs inside and drills him. So Woods is quote unquote rewarded for his efforts with that long at bat. He's hit by a pitch, he'll reach first base. One out for Cody Krause. So a home run and a hit by pitch of Jacob Woods will bring out the Alabama Huntsville coaching staff. Likely just to check up on his starter here or Selly. No one's been loosening up in the bullpen. Starting to see some action out there. A few players stretching. But Really no move made, being made to the bullpen at this time here in the middle innings. Chargers used just two pitchers yesterday. Thanks to a strong start by the starter, Connor Brooks. Will Hodelin came in, in, in relief, an inning and a third scoreless. Four runs surrendered so far by Andre Orselli. Woods at first base with one out for Cody Krause. Swing and a miss by Krause, nothing in one. Sally pumps a fastball by the bat of Krause to get ahead in the count. A one, pitch for Morselli. Fouled back, nothing in two. Krause a strikeout victim back in the second. His strikeout brought an end to that inning. He's down nothing and two here against Orselli. Woods leading off of first base. Fastball called, strike three. Krause is rung up on a fastball over the outside corner. He's out number two. Back to the top now for Jacob Pager. Looking to ignite a two-out rally and bring home the game's tying run in the form of Jacob Wood standing at first base. One for two afternoon thus far for Pager. First pitch is a change up down low. Pager goes after it for strike one.
Pedro batting 203 on the year, 64 at bats. A one pitch to him here. It's popped up. Might be playable. Catcher Knowles moving over towards the dugout. It's off the roof of the dugout and out of play. So quickly, Pedro down nothing and two. Two outs, man at first, here in the bottom of the fourth inning. off to first base and the chase is was back. No balls, two strikes, runner at first, two outs. Roselli sets and delivers. Called, strike three. Pager rung up at a fastball at the knees and back to back strikeouts bring it in to the bottom of the fourth inning, but not before the Hawks get one back, courtesy of the opposite field solo shot by Logan Stockton. We head to the fifth inning, Chargers in front, five to four. New pitcher on the mound for the Hawks is number 12, Sam Darling. The righty standing six foot even, a senior from Winder, Georgia, a product of Winder Barrow High School. We'll take the mound for the Hawks here in the middle innings. Getting ready to go to work against Jackson Lindsay and the middle third of the Chargers order. First fish from Darling is a rocket into right field. That's a base hit. Pager over to retrieve it, and he will get it back into the infield. One pitch and a leadoff single for Jackson Lindsay to open the fifth. Will Knowles, the catcher, will stride to the plate. Man at first, nobody out in the inning. Breaking ball, chopped first base side and foul. Darling on the mound, making his fourth appearance of the season, a 2.7 ERA and three and a third innings pitch. He's allowed three hits and one earned run. One strikeout, opponents batting 300 off the Hawks righty. A one from Darling. Breaking ball. They take the swing. No swing. Sets so the field umpire. Not a bad pitch at all there from Darling. A breaking ball. Just missed the zone.
in the dirt, blocked by Stockton. Excellent block behind the plate for the Hawks' backstop. Speaking of Logan Stockton, his home run over the right field wall in the previous inning, cut into the deficit, made it a 5-4 to four game. First homer of the season for Logan Stockton. Sorely needed extra base hit by the Hawks. Hawks have been struggling in that department. Just two extra base hits last week against Montevallo, just one yesterday. Three and one count as Darling misses in the dirt. Darling looking to protect the Chargers lead right where it is. Keep the deficit at just one run. Strike call, three and two. Good fastball there from Darling. To run the count full, three balls and two strikes on Will Knowles. Three, two. Down low. No, strike three called. Will Knowles is rung up on strike three by the home plate umpire. He cannot believe it. He had already taken three or four steps out of the box, dropped his bat, jumped in into the air in frustration. And he's out number one in the inning. The same darling in the Hawks will take it. A strikeout looking of Will Knowles will bring up Mitchell Rotier. In the dirt, down low, ball one. First here walked and came around to score. One of the two runs that came home to score via walk in the last inning. Breaking ball dropped in from Darling. Beautiful pitch for strike one. Hawks looking for a double play to end the inning as a team. Alabama Huntsville has grounded into 24 double plays on the season. Well outside here. Overall, a 0 for 1 day at the plate. But a walk and a run scored for the Chargers shortstop. 2-1 from Darling, another breaking ball and another strike. Nice pitch there from Sam Darling, spins in a breaking ball. To level the count at two balls and two strikes on Mitchell Rotier. Two-two 2 in the dirt, it gets away from Stockton. And Jackson Lindsay will move up to second base on the wild pitch. Definitely not ideal for the Hawks. That erases any chance of a double play. Now a full count on the Charger shortstop. First base is open. But Darling wants to retire Rotier right here. 3-2. Got him. Swinging strike three. Darling pulls the string on a breaking ball. Rotier is his second strikeout victim of the day. Make it back-to-back -back strikeouts for Sam Darling. And Hunter Tillman, the last chance for the Chargers here in the top of the fifth inning. Man at second is Jackson Lindsay, Tillman the batter. First pitch to Tillman. Inside, smothered by Stockton. Nice job to keep Lindsey parked at second base. Two walks out of the nine spot for Hillman. Tillman, rather. He's done a nice job getting on base. He came home to score the second run of the inning back in the fourth. That's the difference in the game now. Chargers lead 5-4 to four here in the middle innings. Game two of the series, game one of the Sunday afternoon doubleheader. Darling pumps in a strike. One and one. Good fastball there from Darling right at the knees of the left-handed hitting Hunter Tillman. Garrett Bodine awaits on deck in the top of the Chargers order. Pitch on the way. Grounded to shortstop. Schroeder feels it cleanly. 
Fires on the first base, just in time to get him. Hunter Tillman retired by half a step on the ground out to Tommy Schroeder. Good work out of the pin by Sam Darling. He keeps the Chargers off the scoreboard. We're halfway home. Chargers lead 5-4. Part of the order due out for the Hawks, two, three, and four, starting with the Hawks left fielder, Kobe Jones. Hawks cut into the deficit in the bottom of the fourth inning thanks to the solo home run off the bat of Logan Stockton, but looking for more as the Hawks look to either tie or take the lead here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Game one of this Sunday afternoon doubleheader, nine innings, to be followed by a seven inning, hopefully the Hawks Hope that it will be a serious deciding game three. Chop first base side and foul. Wide of the bag at first base. Fielded anyway by Vasquez. Throws the ball back to his pitcher and a one on one count on Kobe Jones. Hit hard in the air to right. On comes Lindsay. He makes a running grab for out number one. Hard hit ball by Kobe Jones, but nothing to show for it. A line out to right opens the bottom of the fifth for the Hawks. Jones, or Schroeder rather. Had a weak ground ball at the first baseline that went right through the legs of the first baseman Vasquez. That run eventually came home to score on a balk by Orselli that at the time tied the game at three. Hawks trail five to four now. Schroeder ahead, one ball, no strikes in the count. He swings and fouls this one into the mid of the catcher Knowles for strike one. Schroeder batting 394 on the year, 71 at bats, 28 home runs, 10 doubles. Way out in front of this one, strike two. No homers yet on the season for Schroeder, but a 563 slugging percentage. Schroeder's been a mainstay in the Hawks' order all season long. Down one two here, just gets a piece of this one to stay alive. Thomas Schroeder, the fourth, five foot eleven, sophomore from St. Charles, Illinois, transfer from Morton Community College. Awaits a 1-2 offering from Andre Orselli. Called strike three. Ball was dropped behind the plate for Knowles, but he will make the peg to first anyway. Quickly two outs here in the fifth. That'll bring up Gavin Millines. Get something going with two outs for the Hawks. Out in front of that one, fouls it back, and that one got a piece of the catcher, Will Knowles. He's going to take himself a second to walk this one off. That cannot feel too good for Will Knowles. Knowles, the catcher, 5'11", 195-pound sophomore from Rainbow City, Alabama. Graduate of Westbrook Christian High School. 
did not play yesterday and said it was Dylan Johnson that did the catching for the Chargers, but he gets the nod here in game two. We'll see if it will be Johnston or Knowles behind the plate for the Chargers in game three of the series. Still a long way to go in this one here in game two. Through four and a half. Hawks trail five to four on the scoreboard. They've actually out hit the Chargers six to five. But trailing where it counts. Owen to Millines. Hit hard on one hop out to short. Rotier, no trouble with it. Flip on to first base in time to retire the side. Three up and three down go the Hawks. We're through five. They trail five to four. Top of the order set to go for the Chargers here in the sixth inning. Starting with Garrett Bodine, the Chargers center fielder. One for two day at the plate for Bodine with a strikeout and a walk, as well as a single, a stolen bag, and a run scored. Sam Darling still on the mound for the Hawks here in the sixth. First pitch to Bodine is a breaking ball, strike one. Nice start for Darling, looking for his second inning of scoreless relief. A one. Breaking ball out in front. On the ground to second base. Leon feels it cleanly. Flips over to the bag at first in time. One up and one down for Darling in the sixth inning. Good start for Darling and the Hawks here in the sixth. Always nice to get the leadoff, man. Keep Garrett Bodine off base. And that will bring up Carson Vialta batting in the two spot. First pitch from Darling, just missed, ball one. Not a bad spot at all there from Darling, but evidently just missed. Carson Vialta, the reigning Gulf South Conference Player of the Week. Shows bunt and pulls back for ball two. Vialta won that distinction in part because he batted a very prolific 7-14, including a 10-for-14 performance. 12 RBIs, 3 runs scored, 2 doubles, and a home run. 2-0 from Darling. Outside, ball 3. Last weekend against West Florida, he was 6 for 9 at the plate with 10 RBIs in that series as Alabama Huntsville swept West Florida. And speaking of West Florida, that will be the Hawks' conference opponent next weekend, also right here in Rome. 3-0 pitch from Darling. Strike called. Good fastball from Sam Darling right over the low outside corner to get back in the count. 
overall in the season. Vialta batting 375 and 72 at bats entering play today. 27 hits, including four doubles, a triple, and two home runs, including one yesterday. That homer proved to be the difference in that ball game as Darling issues ball four here, a one out walk for Carson Vialta. Second consecutive walk for Carson Vialta. He's at first base now for Landon Easel. Easel walked in a run in his last at bat, give him the RBI for that. One on, one out. First pitch from Darling, down and away. Overall in the day, two RBIs for Landon Easel. So he's played a big part game in game one of the doubleheader, game two of the series. Breaking ball out in front popped up, and this will get out of play. Easel leading the team in average, a 438 hitter coming in to play today. One one pitch has popped up. Barnes should have a play, ranging into foul territory. Now coming back towards Fair, he makes the grab in Fair territory for out number two. Excellent job by Sam Darling, getting perhaps the best hitter in the Chargers order to pop out weakly the other way. Two outs now for Brennan Vasquez. One on, now two out for the Chargers here in the sixth inning. And Brennan Vasquez, the man at the plate. First pitch, fastball at the knee, strike one. Another good pitch there from Sam Darling. Like Easel before him, Vasquez two, got an RBI walk in his last plate appearance. Fastball, almost identical location, but this time doesn't go the way of Sam Darling. Might have missed a little bit more inside. That evens the count. One ball and one strike. Darling gets the sign from his catcher, Stockton. Checks the runner at first base. And out of the plate. Fouled back. Vasquez to a knee on that swing. Went down to get that pitch. He's down one and two. Darling and the Hawks trying to send this one on to the sixth inning. Bottom of the sixth inning. Keep the score right where it is. Here's the one two. A rocket out to right field. That is a fair ball. It ricochets into the corner. Pager with some trouble with it. He gets it in, and the runner will be stopped at third base. A hard ricochet off the wall and right. Pager had some trouble with it initially, but up with it quickly enough to prevent Vialta from scoring all the way from first base with two outs. And it's up to Brock Butler if the Chargers are to break through and crack the scoreboard here in the sixth inning. Vasquez continues to be trouble out of the cleanup spot in the Chargers order for the Hawks. A homer and a double, as well as an RBI walk in this one. First pitch to Butler, gets away from Stockton. Vialta throws on the brakes and heads back to third. Thought about coming home to score on that wild pitch, but nice job by Stockton to get to it quickly. And keep Vialta anchored at the bag. One no count on Brock Butler. Butler 0 for 2 at the plate, a hit by pitch, and a strikeout in his last at bat. And out comes Wes Timmons. He will motion to the bullpen, and it appears that will be the end of the line for Sam Darling. He will hand the ball off to his head coach, but nice job out of the pen by Sam Darling. 
an inning and two-thirds scoreless, but he's on the hook for both runners in scoring position, standing at second and third. New pitcher to tell you about when we come back. New pitcher on the mound for the Hawks is number 33, the lefty Ethan Hawthorne, standing six foot two. He's a senior from St. Augustine, Florida, a graduate of St. Joseph's Academy. Will come in with minutes second and third, and two outs here in the sixth inning. Facing the righty Brock Butler, five-hole hitter, designated hitter today for the Chargers here in Game Two. Did not play in Game One of the series. He's 0 for 2 at the plate with a strikeout. A line out and a hit by pitch. One and no count. First pitch from Hawthorne. Bends in a breaking ball for strike one. For Hawthorne on the season, an 8-7-1 ERA and 10 in the thirds innings pitched, making his eighth appearance, all of them coming in relief. One and one count on Butler. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball swung on and missed strike two. Tied him up in knots there. Back foot breaking ball from the left arm of Ethan Hawthorne. He's a strike away from putting out the fire here in the sixth inning. Both runners on base belong to Sam Darling. Darling worked an inning and two-thirds of scoreless relief thus far. Pitch from Hawthorne, grounded third base side and foul. Two strikeouts for Darling, one walk and two hits allowed. No runs on his watch while he was on the mound, but both runners do belong to him on the base pass. Facing Brock Butler from Meridian, Mississippi, a transfer from Meridian Community College. Here's the one-two, up and away. Hawthorne tried to catch him with an elevated fastball, but couldn't get a chase from Butler, the designated hitter. We'll see what he follows with here on an even two-and-two two count. On the ground to shortstop, Schroeder feels it cleanly, shuffles and throws. Nice job by Ethan Hawthorne out of the bullpen. He induces a ground out from Brock Butler, and the Chargers strand runners at second and third to bring it into the top of the sixth inning.
Hawks offense once again ready to take aim at Andre Orselli. Justin Barnes, the five-hole hitter, will be the first man to face him here in the bottom of the sixth. Barnes batting 216 on the year, 51 at bats, 11 hits, two doubles, and four RBIs. Manning first base today for the Hawks. Leading things off here in the bottom of the sixth inning. First pitch from Marcelli is a fastball right there for strike one. Good start for Andre Orselli. He's worked five innings in this one, allowing four runs on six hits. Out in front, he skies this one out of play off to the right side and foul. Quickly nothing and two on the Hawks' first baseman. Working from the stretch, Orselli's 0-2. On the ground, a shortstop, diving stop, Rotier will have no play. It's an infield single for Justin Barnes. Elevated fastball, Barnes climbed the ladder to get it. Hard hit ball back through the middle, Rotier to his left with the dive, knocked it down, but no chance to catch the fleet-footed Barnes. He's awarded first with an infield single. Here's Norman Leon. Hitless in the series thus far. But with Barnes representing the tying run here at the bottom of the sixth inning, he'll look to change that. Showing Bunn, he pulls back. It's ball one. West Timmons relaying the signs from the third base coaching box. Barnes at first, the runner. Leon, the second baseman, hitting at the plate. Showed Bunn on the first pitch. We'll see if it's still on with a 1-0 count. First to pick off over to first base, but not particularly close. Barnes back safely. Showing Bunn again. He gets it down to the left side. Easel charges. Looks to second base. It's not in time! Easel fielded it fairly quickly. It was a hard hit bunt right at the third baseman. The throw short hopped into second base. The shortstop Rotier picked it cleanly, but not in time to get Justin Barnes, who was hustling. So it works out for the Hawks. Should be scored a fielder's choice for Norman Leon. No out recorded on the play but not necessarily a hit either. Two on, nobody out now for Logan Stockton. Infield thinking bunt. First baseman Vasquez way in. The correct, Stockton was pulling around to bunt, but he pulls back for ball one. Golden opportunity for the Hawks. Two on, nobody out. Chargers couldn't make the play on the bunt by Norman Leon. Stockton showing bunt. He gets it down left side, and it's a good one. Orsia, the pitcher to field it, flips the first base in time to get Stockton. But a productive at-bat for Logan Stockton. He lays down a good bunt down the third base line, moving both runners 90 feet and into scoring position for Jacob Woods. Biggest moment offensively of the game for the Hawks. Minutes second and third. Jacob Woods the batter. He shows Bunny. He gets it down. Barnes coming to the plate. They'll have no play. They throw to first. It's in time. The throw to the plate. Not in time. The Hawks score two runs on a sack bunt by Jacob Woods. Norman Leon flies around the bases, scores from second on a bunt back to the mound. And the Hawks have taken the lead. An unbelievable turn of events here in the bottom of the sixth inning. A bunt by Norman Leon, a bunt by Logan Stockton, a bunt by Jacob Woods, and the Hawks lead six to five.
Cody Krause the batter now. He shows Bunny gets it down. Easel charging. Off balance throw. Got him. Landon Easel with a nice running play. And in an inning filled with bunts by the Hawks, they scratch off two runs to take a 6-5 to five lead as we head to the seventh inning. Ethan Hawthorne back out of the mound for the Hawks here in the seventh inning as he now protects a lead. Hawks in front on the scoreboard, six to five, after a four bunt inning by the Hawks offense. Brought home two runs, both of them scoring on a sacrifice bunt by Jacob Woods. Norman Leon scoring from second base on a bunt back to the mound. So here's Ethan Hawthorne. First pitch to the plate, breaking ball, just missed, ball one. Jackson Lindsay, the right fielder, is the batter. 1-0 pitch, outside corner, strike one. Great pitch from Hawthorne, lefty-lefty matchup, paints one over the outside edge. Breaking ball over the head of Lindsay and off the backstop. Clearly not what Ethan Hawthorne had in mind there with that pitch, but luckily for the Hawks, it's just a ball. A two and one count now on the Chargers right fielder. Jackson Lindsay, a 295 hitter, 78 at bats, 23 hits, including five doubles, two homers, and 14 RBIs entering play today. Fastball right over the low outside edge, strike two. Another beautiful pitch there from Hawthorne over the outside corner to level the count. Breaking ball. Lindsay able to hold off for ball three. Another good pitch there from Hawthorne, but could not elicit a chase from Jackson Lindsay. Full count offering. Stroked in the air to right. Coming on as Pager, he makes a shoulder-high grab for out number one. Jackson Lindsay lines out to Pager and right, and that'll bring up Will Knowles, the Chargers catcher. It's been a tough day for Knowles at the plate. 0 for 3 day with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch to him here is a breaking ball down low for ball one. Back to the mound, off the glove of Hawthorne. It sprays behind him. The flip on the first base is wide and in the visitor's bullpen. Barnes to retrieve it. And an infield single by Will Knowles off the glove of Hawthorne. Good throw, probably would have been in time to get him, but a tough play for the pitcher coming off the mound, changing directions and attempting to make a throw to first base. It will be scored an infield single for Will Knowles. That'll bring up Mitchell Rotier, Chargers shortstop. 
like Knowles before him, he too struck out in his last at bat. Pitch from Hawthorne, fastball, inside corner, strike one. Overall, 0 for 2 day at the plate for Rotier, though he does have a walk and a run scored. Chopped to third. Woods charging. Feels it on the hop. Throw across is true for out number two. Nice play by Jacob Woods at third base. Fielding that one on the run and still making a strong, accurate throw across to his first baseman, Barnes. Man at second now and two outs for Hunter Tillman. Hawthorne squaring off against Hunter Tillman. Lefty-lefty matchup. Breaking ball misses down low. Hawthorne came on in favor of Sam Darling and retired Brock Butler for the final out of the sixth inning. He's one more out to get through the seventh. Scoreless. Another breaking ball and another miss down low. 2-0. Two walks out of the nine spot for Hunter Tillman. Grounded out to short in his last at bat. That ground out into the fifth. But he does have a run scored as well. Hawthorne behind in the count, 2 0 the pitch. Fastball right there, strike one. Nice pitch from Ethan Hawthorne. A 2 1 count on the Chargers left fielder. Hunter Tillman, 5'8", 175-pound junior from Mobile, Alabama. Hawthorne to the plate. Breaking ball, this one misses as well, 3-1. You can tell the Hawks wanted that one. Not a bad breaking ball at all there from Ethan Hawthorne, but in danger of losing Tillman now, 3-1 the count. Hawthorne checks the runner now, the 3 1. Outside, ball four. That'll bring up Garrett Bodine in the top of the Chargers order with two on and two out here in the top of the seventh inning. Three walks out of the nine spot for Hunter Tillman. He's had quite the patient day at the plate. Done a nice job setting the table for the top of the order. Hawks clinging to a 6 to 5 lead. They pushed across two runs in the bottom of the sixth inning. Time is called by Wes Timmons. Let's take a stroll to the mound. And we'll see what he has in store for Ethan Hawthorne after this mound visit. Hawthorne retired the first batter of the inning. Jackson Lindsay on a line out to right field. Will Knowles reached on an infield single off the glove of Hawthorne. Mitchell Rotier grounded out to the short to the third baseman Woods. And Tillman issued a free pass. And it looks like Wes Timmons will take the ball from Ethan Hawthorne. Another call to the bullpen by the Hawks. New pitcher coming up when we come back.
New pitcher on the mound for the Hawks is number 11, Landon Maynard. The righty standing six foot two, a junior, the pride of Wetumpka, Alabama, a transfer from Central Alabama Community College, comes on in the big spot. Two on and two out, top of the seventh inning. Hawks clinging to a one-run lead as we approach the late innings. It's the top of the order, Garrett Bodine, the Charger center fielder, the batter. First pitch from Maynard, inside, just missed. One for three afternoon at the plate for Bodine, including a walk. 1-0 from Maynard, outside, 2-0. Hawks lead 6-5. Chargers are threatening. Two on, two out here in the top of the seventh. This one catches the outside corner for strike one. Nice pitch from the sidewinder, Landon Maynard. Maynard, a 4.63 ERA, making his 11th appearance of the year. Checks the owner a second, now to the plate. Just missed the outside corner for ball three. Eleven and two-thirds innings worked on the year for Maynard. Looking to record the final out here in the top of the seventh inning. And turn things back over to the Hawks offense. The 3-1. Strike called. Bodine had started trotting towards first base. Not the first charge to do that in this game. They've had quite a few disagreements with the home plate umpire on would-be walks, but now with a full count and two outs, both runners will be on the move. Big pitch here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, top of the seventh inning. It's well outside for ball four. So Maynard loses the first man he faces. Bodine out of the pen. And the bases are loaded for Carson Vialta. Consecutive walks and two trips to the plate for Carson Vialta. And before. Maynard can face Vialta. Another trip to the mound by Wes Timmons. Maynard lost the first man he faced, Garrett Bodine. And he will take the ball from Maynard. So Maynard loses the only man he faces. And another call to the bullpen for Wes Timmons and the Hawks. New pitcher coming up.
new pitcher in the game for the Hawks. It's number 13, Tanner Foles, the lefty, standing six foot two, the redshirt freshman from Calhoun, Georgia, a transfer from Penn State University. Well, come on in the biggest moment of the game to this point. Bases loaded, two outs, top of the seventh inning. Hawks lead by one run, a six to five advantage. Foles facing Carson Vialta, the two hole hitter for the Chargers. But first, we'll have a trip to the mound by Logan Stockton. He and Foles will likely discuss signs and what sequence they want to go with here with the bases loaded. Right man at the plate for the Chargers, right guy on the mound for the Hawks. Folds normally the Hawks' game three starter. Coming in in relief here in game number two, inning number seven. Likely get the Hawks out of this bases loaded jam. Facing Carson Vialta, the reigning Gulf South player of the week. Hawks play Vialta to pull the shortstop Schroeder on the second base side of the bag. Loans, Woods rather, the lone man on the left side of the infield for the Hawks. Foles versus Vialta. Here's the first pitch. At the knees, strike one. Great start from Foles out of the pen. He pumps in strike one to get ahead. Folds is the reigning Gulf South pitcher, or freshman of the week, rather. This one runs inside and gets him. And the hit by pitch of Carson Vialta will tie the game at 6 to 6. A hit by pitch and an RBI brings home Will Knowles. And Landon Easel will set to the plate now with a chance to take the lead for Alabama Huntsville. First pitch to Easel. On the ground at third, Woods bobbles it, steps on third base, and that will end the inning. So Foles comes on, hits Carson Vialta. That ties the game at six, but gets Easel to roll out on the ground at third. The Chargers strand three, but they tie the game 6-6. Six to six.
new pitcher on the mound for the Chargers. It's the lefty Corey Haygood, standing six foot three, 190 pounds. He's a redshirt sophomore from Madison, Alabama, a product of James Clemens High School. He'll be tasked with the top of the Hawks order, starting with Jacob Pager. In the bottom of the seventh, now in a tied game. Six runs aside. First pitch to Pager, the strike right there, 0 and 1. For the starter, Andre Orselli, six innings pitch, five strikeouts, no walks, seven hits, and four runs allowed. Pager swings and lifts this one out of play foul. Quickly, nothing and two on the Hawks' leadoff end. For Corey Haygood, a 3.86 ERA and nine and a third innings pitched on the year, making his ninth appearance of the season, all but one of them in relief. Swing and a miss. Pager down on three straight pitches. He's a strikeout victim for out number one. Here's Kobe Jones. Two for three at the plate and two runs scored by the Hawks left fielder. First pitch breaking ball to Jones. Strike one. Jones hailing from Marietta, Georgia, looking to get things started for the Hawks here in the seventh inning with one out. Breaking ball, chop first base side and foul off the netting of the dugout. Quickly, nothing in two. O2. Swing and a miss. Haygood mowing right through the top of the Hawks' order. Six pitches, two strikeouts. And quickly, two gone here in the seventh. That'll bring up Tommy Schroeder, the Hawks shortstop. One for three at the plate today. Schroeder struck out looking his last time up. First pitch to Schroeder, a strike. Seven pitches, seven strikes from Haygood out of the pen. Here's the 0-1 from Haygood. Strike two. Haygood a strike away from an immaculate inning. Eight pitches, eight strikes. Working from the stretch, the 0-2. Missed down low. So no immaculate inning for Haygood. We'll have to throw at least 10 pitches to get through this one. One two to Schroeder. Hit softly in the inner shallow center. That's going to drop in a base hit. Schroeder dumps a two-out single. And that'll bring forth the designated hitter, Gavin Millons, to the plate. Eighth hit of the afternoon for the Hawks is a two-out single from Tommy Schroeder. Millons a two-RBI double back in the first, but he's been quiet since then. A ground... A pair of ground outs, actually, for the Hawks slugger. Here it is, the Millines is high for ball one. Gavin Millines celebrating his 20th birthday today. Hoping to make it a memorable one. An extra base hit here in the bottom of the seventh will certainly do the trick. Misses high as well, 2-0. Two straight misses from Haygood. Millines in the driver's seat. The 2-0. Fastball in there for a strike. Two and one count on the Hawks' designated hitter. Schroeder, the runner at first. Pitch from Haygood. Foul back. Big hack there from Millines. Just able to get a piece and send it foul back out of play. Two and two count on Gavin Millines. From the stretch, Haygood deals the 2-2. In the dirt, it gets away. Moving 90 feet into scoring position is Tommy Schroeder. And a base hit with two outs could once again provide the Hawks with the lead. A 
full count on midlines. Norman Leon waits on deck, or rather, Justin Barnes waits on deck. Leon to follow. The 3 2. Popped up. Shallow right field. Vialta out. Stumbling a little bit. He drops. The ball drops in shallow center. And the Hawks have taken the lead. Carson Vialta, as that ball started to come down, you could see he wasn't tracking it very well. Shaky legs out there in shallow center field. It's an RBI single for Gavin Millines. So the Hawks do indeed get some two out magic. A soft serve single into center by Tommy Schroeder. A wild pitch and a drop fly ball in shallow center have given the Hawks a 7-6 to six lead. Here's the pitch to Barnes. Outside, ball one. The Alabama Huntsville Chargers have shot themselves in the foot repeatedly in this one, and the Hawks have taken advantage. A now 7-6 to six lead for Shorter. Missed outside, 2-0. Oh. Two out, rather. It's hammered in the air to center. Bodine tracking it, turning around, dropping to the seat of his pants and making the play in medium deep center field. Barnes gave that one a ride, but Bodine able to hang on. But the Hawks capitalize on the defensive miscue by Carson Vialta and the Chargers. They now lead 7-6. Tanner Foles remains on the mound for the Hawks as they look to protect, once again, a one-run lead. Middle third of the order, 4, 5, and 6 do it for the Chargers here in the top of the eighth inning. Hawks need six more outs to secure a Game 2 victory and set up a series-decided Game 3. First pitch swinging, fouled, and... Looked like the ball got Stockton on the way by, shaking his hand in discomfort. So an 0 and 1 count on Brennan Vasquez. Went after the first pitch and fouled it off the hand of Logan Stockton. For folds. A 2.43 ERA, making his ninth appearance of the year. 33 and a third innings pitched for the Hawks lefty. A one in there for strike two. Team leading 30 strikeouts for Foles, looking for another here of Brennan Vasquez. He's way ahead, no balls and two strikes. And the dirt. Foles tried to go with a modified windup, a quick pitch of sorts, but he spiked the fastball. Count moves to one and two. Foles winds. Here it is. 
popped off left side. Kobe coming on. He makes the catch. Long way to go for Kobe Jones and left, but gets there no trouble. One out here in the eighth. That'll bring up Brock Butler, the designated hitter. He grounded out to shortstop his last time up. 0 for 3 afternoon for the Chargers designated hitter. Breaking ball, hammered down the left field line, but foul. Brock Butler got a good look at that one, but well out in front. He spins it down the left field line, well out of play, nothing in one. A one pitch, fastball, strike two. Nice pitch there from Folds. Butler rolls his eyes in disagreement, but he's down in the count, nothing in two. O2 from Folds. Missed down the way. Look, a change up there from Tanner Folds, but couldn't get a swing from Butler, the designated hitter. Of all two strikes on Brock Butler. Got him looking. Strike three called. Butler down looking. And not all too happy with that call. A slow stroll back to the dugout. For Brock Butler, he's out number two here in the eighth. First strikeout of the day for Tanner Folds. Two up and two down here in the eighth. Hawks looking for their first one, two, three inning of the game. First pitch is fouled off to the left side out of play. Hawks pitching staff has not pieced together a one, two, three inning yet. The Chargers have base runners all over the place. In fact, they've left 10, 12 men on base through seven and two-thirds innings of offense. Swing and a miss. So Foles now a strike away from that elusive one, two, three inning. Working against Jackson Lindsay, the Chargers right fielder. Here it is, the 0-2 and the dirt. Lindsay one for four day with a single. Foles looking to retire him here and send it to the bottom of the eighth inning. Just missed. A few members of the Hawk infield that's starting trotting back towards the dugout. They thought it was certainly good enough for strike three. But not to the liking of the home plate umpire. He says ball two. Foles face now with an even count. On the ground to second. Foles, er, He's out of it. Norman Leon records the 4-3 to three put out, and Tanner Folds gets a 1-2-3 perfect top of the eighth inning. Hawks lead 7-6. to six. Norman Leon to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning for the Hawks. Number eight striding into the right-handed box. Looking to add on a few insurance runs as the Hawks look to record the final three outs in the top of the ninth inning. Corey Haygood remains on the mound for the Chargers. 
recorded two strikeouts on just six pitches and was a strike away from an immaculate inning until Tommy Schroeder dumped a soft single into shallow center and Gavin Millines brought him home on a drop fly ball by Carson Vialta. This one's skied in the air to left. Should be no trouble for Tillman. Moving over, he puts it away for out number one. Here is Logan Stockton. A sacrifice bunt for him. Part of a series of four consecutive bunts by the Hawks. Stockton also has a solo home run that he put over the right field wall back in the fourth inning. He goes after this one down low and sends it third base side and foul. Nothing in one. Oh, and one on the Hawks catcher. Stockton recorded his first home run of the year earlier in this game. This one also on the ground to third, but like the last one, foul as well. Nothing in two. Time called now by the home plate umpire, and Gavin Milline's out to hand him a new set of baseballs. Count remains nothing in two on Logan Stockton. Pitch from Haygood. Defensive hack by Stockton. He sends it off to the right side. It ricochets off the net. Nice job by Stockton to stay alive. Count still nothing in two. Stockton giving himself a moment. Now he's ready. As is Haygood. He delivers another 0-2 pitch. Fastball just missed away. Swing and a miss. Ball in the dirt. Stockton will make the catcher throw it down to first base. He does successfully. There's out number two. Third strikeout of the day for Haygood. And last call for the Hawks here in the bottom of the eighth inning is Jacob Woods. First pitch swing and he fouls it back, nothing in one. In his last at bat, his only at bat to this point, or second at bat rather, Jacob Woods laid down a sacrifice bunt that brought home two runs. Takes outside here for ball one. He's been hit by a pitch and has laid down a sacrifice two RBI bunt, so no official at bat in this one for Woods, but Still been productive at the plate in two trips. He fouls this one straight back off the screen for strike two. So the Hawks fail to add on here. They'll protect a one-run lead at the top of the ninth inning as they look to secure a game two victory. Woods takes down low. Two two. Inside corner, strike three called. Woods down looking, and the Hawks are done here in the bottom of the eighth inning. We go to the ninth. Hawks looking to close it out.
Tanner Foles ready to go in the top of the ninth inning. Hawks need three outs to secure a Game 2 victory and set up a rubber match Game 3 in the doubleheader game that will immediately follow this one. Dylan Johnston, pinch hitting for Will Knowles, will be the first batter. Foles pours in a strike, nothing in one against Dylan Johnston. Foles winds his 0-1. Swing and a miss. Johnston came up empty with that hack. He's down, nothing in two. Johnston was one for four in yesterday's ball game, getting his first at bat here in this one in the top of the ninth inning. 0-2 from Folds in the dirt. Johnston, nice job to hold back on that one. Breaking ball from Tanner Folds. But he would not chase after the lefty's pitch in the dirt. Count moves to 1-2. and two. Down and out. Ball two. Knowles was 1-4 for four at the plate. Single and a pair of strikeouts, as well as a run scored. Even count now, two and two. Popped up. Right at shortstop. Tommy calling for it and making the play. Both teams having some trouble fielding fly balls today. Particularly pop-ups on the infield. Schroeder stumbling back in the outfield glass. Puts it away, and a big out number one here at the top of the ninth inning. Here's Mitchell Rotier, the Chargers shortstop. First pitch to him, misses high and away, ball one. 0 for 3 at the plate today for Rotier, though he does have a walk and a run scored. Foles looking to retire him here. We're out number two in the top of the ninth inning. Up and away. This game was started on the mound for the Hawks by Jesse Stimpton. Lasted just a third of an inning. Coy Martin covered the next two and two-thirds. Followed by Davis Burgeon, Cole McDaniel, Sam Darling, Ethan Hawthorne, Landon Maynard, and now Tanner Folds here in the ninth inning. Grounded right side, a fair ball! This one's into the right field corner. Pager over to get it. Rotier stumbles on his way to second, but he will arrive there standing. It's a one-out double for Mitchell Rotier. Right over the bag at first. Hawks continue that ball was foul. But as it stands, it's a one-out double for Rotier. He's the tying run with one out in the ninth. Here's Hunter Tillman, the left-handed hitting left fielder for the Chargers. First pitch to him is a breaking ball that missed inside, ball one. Pitch from Folds. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Over the outside corner. Nice pitch there from Folds. Barring a double play here with a man at second and one out. Garrett Bodine will get another at bat in this one. Hit hard in the air to right. Pager moving over to his right. Makes the catch. No tag from Rotier. That's the second out of the night. So it's up now to Garrett Bodine, facing off against Tanner Foles, trying to close this one out, get the Hawks one more out here in the ninth inning, and tie the series at one game apiece. Foles ready, his first pitch. On the ground to third. Diving stop by Woods. Throw across the diamond is in time. Tanner Folds and the Hawks close it out in the ninth. Nice play to the backhand by Jacob Woods at third. A strong throw across the diamond. 
and the Hawks win game two of the series, seven to six, and set up a decisive game three. Final score, Hawks seven, Charger six. The Hawks improve their record back to 500 with their win today over the University of Alabama Huntsville Chargers. Final line today for the visiting Alabama Huntsville Chargers, six runs on eight hits and one error. For the victorious Hawks, seven runs on nine hits and one error in the field. The Hawks' next game will be game three of the series, a doubleheader to follow this game. My name is John Warner. Thank you for watching this game, and I hope to see you in a few minutes.
Welcome back to the ballpark for game three. Once again, my name is John Warner. Glad to have you back as Tanner Foles takes the mound for the Hawks in this series deciding game three. This seven inning game two of the doubleheader will decide who is victorious in this Gulf South Conference series as both teams grapple for position in the Gulf South Conference standings. Hawks interplay in this game with a 12 and 12 overall record, now a seven and seven record in Gulf South Conference, seven and four record at home. And they will look for a strong start behind the left arm of Tanner Folds, who worked the final two and a thirds of game two with one strikeout allowing no runs. So they will look for a repeat silver performance. Not sure exactly how far Tanner Folds will be allowed to pitch in this one. Traditionally, game three of the series that are usually seven innings, Foles goes the distance, but having pitched two and a third in the game prior, it'll be an interesting development to see how far Wes Timmons and the Hawks staff let him pitch into this game. For the Hawks defensively, an almost identical lineup. From left to right in the outfield, Jones, Kraus, and Pager. Woods at third, Schroeder the shortstop, Leon at second, Barnes at first, Logan Stockton behind the plate, and Tanner Folds on the mound. He winds and delivers the first pitch, which is swung on and missed by Garrett Bodine for strike one. Bodine was the final out of game two, grounded out to the third baseman Woods, who made a nice backhanded play and a strong throw across the diamond to end the game. This one from Folds misses high. Ball one. Folds ready. His 1-1 one, one offering. Just missed down low. Two one pitch, foul back. Overall in the series, Bodine just two for nine at the plate, though he does have a pair of walks. Foles looking to retire him here to open game three. The pitch is swung on and missed. Strike three. Foles opens the top of the first with a strikeout, picking up right where he left off here in game three. Foles picked up just one strikeout in his Game 2 action. Already one here in Game 3. Here's Carson Vialta, the Charger second baseman. First pitch to him is a breaking ball that missed. Ball one. Vialta, uncharacteristically quiet in Game 2. Over 2 with a pair of walks and a hit by pitch. Strike called. Folds ready with the 1-1. Behind that one, he skies it off to the left side and out of play. Folds, the reigning Gulf South freshman of the week. Showed you why in game two. Two and a third scoreless innings of relief. 1-2 here. Chopped the first. Barnes to his right, fields it. Has some trouble with it. Flips to Folds covering in time for the out. Nice job by Justin Barnes to stick with that. Booted it a little bit off his glove, but stayed with it and flipped it on to first base to the pitcher covering. Two up and two down to start the game. That'll bring up Landon Easel. Getting his first plate appearance in game three. First offering from Folds is a wave and a miss. Folds pulled the string with a changeup. Easel swung right over the top of it for strike one. Quick pitch from Folds. It bounces in the dirt. A little modified wind there from Tanner Folds. Trying to throw off the timing of the third baseman, Easel. 
quick pitch of sorts working from the wind, but it didn't work in his favor. It's a one and one count. Swing and a miss. Another off speed. And another empty hack for Landon Easel. He's down a ball and two strikes with two outs here in the top of the first inning. Folds in the eighth inning of the ball game earlier. Pitched the only one, two, three inning that the Hawks had all game long. Swing and a miss. Folds mows right through the top of the Chargers order. He sets them down one, two, three. Top of the order is set to go here in the bottom of the first inning for the Hawks, starting with Tommy Schroeder, the Hawks shortstop. A little bit of a lineup change for West Timmons and the Hawks. Schroeder, who batted third in game two, moves back to his traditional leadoff spot. Facing off against Will Hodelin, who misses down low for ball one. Hodelin appeared in game one as a reliever, but gets the nod here in game three as the Chargers starter. Hit hard in the left field, a base hit. Line drive right over the head of the third baseman, Landon Easel, and a leadoff man aboard for the Hawks here in the bottom of the first. That'll bring up the Hawks left fielder, Kobe Jones. Looking to get a first inning rally for the Hawks and provide them with an early lead. Hodelin deals. First pitch to Jones. Grounded right side. Fielded by Vasquez. Second one. On to first base. Not in time. A three to six fielder's choice. Retires Schroeder at second. Jones reaches first base safely. And that brings up Gavin Millines. Here is Gavin Millines. First, it's a pick off over to first, and they've got Jones picked off. Chased by the first baseman, Vasquez. Flip to the shortstop, Rotier, and they apply the tag. Jones is picked off, route number two. So base is empty now for Gavin Millines. After the pickoff of Kobe Jones at first. Here it is, the Millines. Strike called, 0 and 1. Right side, Vialta calling for it. He puts it away, and the Hawks are set down in the bottom of the first inning. Through one, no score.
Tanner falls back out for the top of the second inning after setting down the Chargers in order to open the game in the top half of the first inning. First man to greet him will be Brennan Vasquez, the Alabama Huntsville first baseman. Imposive 6'2", 235-pound graduate student from Milton, Florida. will take aim at Tanner Folds. He bunts left side and foul. So Vasquez trying to catch the Hawks off guard, laid down a drag bunt to third base, but he pushed it just foul. So an early strike on him. Falls ready. His 0-1. Grounded up the middle. Schroeder in the shift on the left side of the infield. Flips it over to first base in time to get Vasquez. One out. So a 6-3 put out, though it was on the second base side of the bag. Schroeder in the shift. And the Hawks execute it to perfection. One up and one down in the second inning. Here's Jackson Lindsay. The Chargers right fielder. Breaking ball. They check his swing down to third base. And no swing, says the third base umpire. Olds started Lindsay off with a breaking ball, but couldn't get a swing. Inside, off the glove of Stockton, 2-0. Oh. Lindsay with one for five in game two of the series. Batting here with the bases empty and one out. Chop to second. Leon to his right, feels the high hop, sets his feet, and an accurate throw over to first base. Five up and five down for Tanner Foles to start the game. There's Caleb Mahan. Mahan did not appear in game two. Came on in game one as a pinch runner. He bunts right out in front of the plate. Folds, pounces on it, throws it to first in time. Back to back, one, two, three innings twirled by Tanner Folds. He's cruising so far through two innings. No score in Rome. Will Hoagland back on the mound for the Chargers after pitching a scoreless bottom of the first inning. Justin Barnes, the cleanup man, will be the first man to bat for the Hawks here in the second inning. Hawks got the leadoff man aboard at the bottom of the first. A fielder's choice by Kobe Jones and a picking off of Kobe Jones recorded the first and second out of the inning. And Gavin Millines popped out to second base to end the inning. First pitch swinging is Justin Barnes. He fouls it back. 
Nothing in one. Barnes was one for four with a run scored in game two of the series. He moves up a spot in the order, going from five to four, batting in the cleanup spot here in game three. Listless went out of play off to the right side, quickly knocking in two. Owen two, Barnes awaits the delivery from Will Hodelin. Chopped, high hopper, up the middle, and through a base hit. An 0-2 base hit right back through the middle by Justin Barnes, and for the second time in two innings, the Hawks have the leadoff man aboard to start the inning. Second hit here in the early going for the Hawks offense, and up to the plate strides Norman Leon, the Hawks' second baseman. Leon swings and lifts this one high in the air to left center field. Bodine calling for it. He puts it away for out number one. Leon, a first pitch fly out victim, and it's one gone now for Logan Stockton. Stockton played a major part in the victory in game two, a solo home run as well as a crucial sacrifice bunt that moved up two runners. And they promptly came around to score from the next batter, Jacob Woods, is sacrificed. But tear off over to first base, and just back in time is Justin Barnes. Hodlin, Hodlin rather, already picked off one Hawk base runner, almost got a second there. So a plus move for the Hawks to watch out for off the mound in the form of Will Hodlin. First pitch to Stockton is a fastball right there for strike one. Man at first, one out, bottom of the second inning, no score here in the early going. Seven inning, game three. Well outside. Hawks drop game one by a final score of two to one. They win game two, seven to six. Looking to win the series outright, sweep the doubleheader, and secure a Gulf South Conference series win. Well outside again, two and one. Hawks drop back-to-back -back series against Valdosta State and Montevallo, respectively, winning just one out of three in both of those sets. 2-1 pitch awaits Logan Stockton. Swing and a miss. Stockton a little over-anxious there, chased at a pitch in the dirt, and a 2-2 two and -two count on the Hawks' backstop. Two balls, two strikes. Pick off over to first base. Barnes much more alert to it this time. Seeing it now for the second time. Much less close than the first time. Another 2-2 coming. Stockton out in front. Does well just to catch a piece and stay alive. Definitely fooled by that off-speed pitch, but nice job of making contact there to prolong his at-bat. Pitch to Stockton, softly hit into center field, a base hit. Two singles in the inning for the Hawks. This one, a jam shot into shallow center field. The pitcher Hodlin expressing his disapproval of that base hit. But nonetheless, the Hawks have two on and one out here in the bottom of the second inning. First pitch to Jacob Pager. a strike on the outside corner, nothing in one. Great chance for the Hawks to grab an early lead. 2-1 after two singles. And just one out here in the bottom of the second inning. Pager shows bunt, pulls back, and takes a ball. Breaking ball there from Hodelin. 
but it missed down and in. Not a bad idea at all from Pager there. Infield playing back for the most part. And we know about Pager's great speed. See what he does here with a one-on-one -on -one count. Swinging. He grounds it to shortstop. Second base one. Throw by Fialta is in time. And inning ending. 6-4-3 double play. And the Hawks are turned away here in the bottom of the second inning. Tanner Foles looking to keep up the good work here in the top of the third inning. He's faced six batters and retired all six of them. Throw goes down to second base. Jacob Woods will deliver that baseball to his starter. He'll be greeted first by Dylan Johnston, bottom third of the order, 7-8-9, due up for Alabama Huntsville. Johnston came in as a substitution for Will Knowles, who started the game behind the plate for the Chargers in game two. First pitch from Foles is a rocket down the left field line. Foul. It's a major slice on that baseball. Just hooking in a foul territory and a loud strike one for Dylan Johnston. Johnston started game one of the series on Saturday afternoon. Johnson was one for four in that ball game. Did not start game two, but appeared as a late inning substitution. 0-1 pitch, softly hit into shallow center. On comes Kraus. He slides and does not have a play. Long way for Kraus to go. He slid, but decided halfway through that he wasn't going to have a play, so he shut it down and holds Johnson to just a leadoff single. So that breaks a streak of six straight retired hitters by Tanner Foles. And it brings Mitchell Rotier to the plate. First pitch from Foles. Outside corner, strike one. Nice job by number 13 on the mound to get ahead. Here's the shortstop. Awaits the 0 1 from Folds. Excuse me, swing into center field. It'll be Kraus to take it and put it away for out number one. Rotier well out in front of that one. Did not put a full swing on that baseball, but the Hawks will take it. It's an easy line out to center. One out now for Hunter Tillman. One on, one out. Lefty, lefty matchup. First pitch from Foles, but first to pick off over to first. All center, all center. 
Tillman was 0 for 4 in game 1 with a strikeout. 0 for 2 in game 2 with 3 walks. This one missing the dirt. Ball 1. So while he's yet to record a hit in the series, he's reached base three times via the base on balls. Tanner Foles and the Hawks looking to keep him off base here in the top of the third inning. Pick off over to first base. Clearly not Foles' best move, just a step and a throw. But already the second time he's gone over there in this at-bat. Dylan Johnston, the catcher, running at first. Hunter Tillman, the left fielder, at the plate. Up and in. Pitch home from Folds. On the ground at second. It's in the air. They'll flip it back to first base. And an inning ending double play. Norman Leon catches the soft liner. And an easy double play as he flips it over to Justin Barnes. And Tanner Folds able to escape the inning without giving up a run. We head to the bottom of the third. Still scoreless. Eight, nine, and one do up in the order for the Hawks, starting with third baseman Jacob Woods. <laughs> Jacob Woods at bat in the sixth inning of game two proved to be the turning point for the game. He bunted home two runs on a sacrifice bunt back to the pitcher. This one's in the dirt for ball one. He's ahead in the count. Woods also made a nice play defensively. And the top of the ninth inning that ended the game, backhanded stab to his right. And a good throw across to retired Garrett Bodine to end the game. Tying run was on second base, so that was a big moment in that game. This one's fouled off to the right side and into the parking lot, out of play. For Will Hodlin on the mound, a 2.05 ERA, making his 10th appearance of the season. Only his second start. Fouled out of play again, 1-2. and two. Hodlin coming in today has pitched 22 innings, including an inning and a third on Saturday afternoon. Was out in front, off the end of his bat, fell. Hodlin entered play today with 26 strikeouts, which was tied for best on the team until Andre Orsili started the last game. Orsili collected five strikeouts in his start in game two. Swing and a miss. Woods out in front of that one. He's down on strikes for out number one.
first strike out of the ball game for Will Hodelin. Now a lefty-lefty matchup between he and Cody Krause. Down and away, ball one. No pitch. Hammered on the ground to first base, but a nice scoop to his left by Brennan Vasquez. He takes it to the bag himself. Two up and two down here in the bottom of the third. Cody Krause put a nice barrel on that baseball, but nothing to show for it. Nice play near the bag at first by Brennan Vasquez, picking it cleanly. His momentum already taking him towards the bag. Really no chance for Krause there on that one. Tough luck out. That will bring up Tommy Schroeder with the bases empty. Breaking ball over the outside corner, strike one. Nice pitch there from Will Hodelin. Schroeder opened the bottom of the first for the Hawks with a single in the left, but was erased on the fielder's choice off the bat of Kobe Jones. Swings at a fastball here and fouls it straight back. Quickly nothing in two. Oh and two on the Hawks shortstop, Tommy Schroeder. Looking to extend the bottom of the third inning. The base is empty and nobody out. This one's hit softly in the air to left center field. On comes the left fielder. He makes the grab. Nice running catch by Hunter Tillman in left to take away a hit from Tommy Schroeder and set down the Hawks in order here in the bottom of the third. Three scoreless innings of work thus far for Tanner Folds. Five and a half of scoreless work dating back to game two. He'll be greeted by the top of the order here in the fourth, starting with Garrett Bodine, a strikeout victim, and his lone at bat in game three. Folds working through the order for a second time here in the game. First pitch to Bodine. Breaking ball just missed high, ball one. One oh pitch, just missed the outside corner. Ball two. Not a bad miss at all there from Tanner Foles. Fastball right over the outside corner, but just outside the zone. There's a strike two and one. Another pitch over the outside corner, but this time in the strike zone. Foles back in the count now, two balls and a strike. Breaking ball, foul straight back, two and two. Alabama Huntsville enters game three with a 14 and 12 record, now six and five in conference play, five and four on the road. The Hawks winning game two, snapped a five game winning streak. Two two pitch, chop left side, Woods feels the big hop, 
takes his time and fires a strike across for out number one. Chargers came into town red hot. They had just defeated West Florida in three straight games, sweeping them right out of town and beating Miles College 28-6 on Wednesday afternoon. Put up four touchdowns. Fialta shows bunt and pulls back for ball one. One oh coming from Folds at the knees, off the glove of Stockton for ball two. Two oh, fouled straight back. Fialta well out in front of that one, pulled it off to the right side, off the bricks. Two and one count now. We also just one for four in the series with a lone hit with a solo home run back in game one. That ended up being the difference in the game. He fouls this one off to the left side as the Chargers claimed a two to one victory in nine innings over the Hawks. Fialta drove in a run after he was hit by a pitch by Tanner Folds. Fialta was the first man that Folds faced out of the bullpen in game two of the series. Just missed. Down and out, Folds wanted it, but he doesn't get the call. It's full, three and two. Though Folds was the man that hit Vialta that run belonged to Ethan Hawthorne. So officially no runs. So we have a time violation on the batter, Carson Vialta, and he is struck out for out number two. So the third base umpire called time, ruled a time violation on Vialta. He is out number two on the strikeout. So make it strikeout number three for Tanner Folds. The old-fashioned way, a pitch clock violation for strike three. Here's Landon Easel. Takes outside for ball one. Swing and a miss. Easel way out in front of that breaking ball from Folds. Definitely had him fooled there. Swing and a miss. Another off-speed pitch, and once again, Easel way out in front. We'll see what Folds comes back with now on a one and two count against three-hole hitter, third baseman Landon Easel. On the ground to third, Woods to his left, has it. Throw across. They got him. Justin Barnes able to hold the bag at first base. Alabama Huntsville doesn't like it, but as it stands, it's out number three. Nice play by Jacob Woods. Nice job by Justin Barnes to hold the bag at first. And a nice job by Tanner Foles on the mound. Three up and three down go the Chargers. We head to the bottom of the fourth. No score.
Hawks offense looking to spring into action here in the bottom of the fourth inning. We approach the middle innings of the seven inning double header. Two, three, and four, the teeth of the order do up for the Hawks. Jones bounced into a fielder's choice his first time up off of Will Hodelin. Still on the mound for the Chargers in the inning. First pitch is foul tip into the mid of Johnston for strike one. Jones drove home the Hawks' lone run in game one. Game two, he was two for four with a double and two runs scored. Inside breaking ball backs him off the plate for ball one. Not a great spot there from Will Hodelin. Lost control of that breaking ball. He'll rub his hand up with some dirt. Try to improve his grip on the baseball. And prepare for a one and one pitch to Kobe Jones. Down and out, two and one. Good take there by Kobe Jones. Hodlin catches the ball back from his catcher, snaps his glove in frustration, rubs his hand with dirt once more. Two one. Chopped. Right side. Second baseman Vialta fields it. Underhand flip. Just gets Jones for out number one. So here's Gavin Millines. Base is empty. One out. Bottom of the fourth inning. First pitch on the way to Millines. Just missed low. Will Hodlin on the mound for the Chargers. Six foot even, 195 pound junior from Atala, Alabama. Transfer from Lawson State Community College. Millines hard on the ground to short. Diving stop, Rotier. Throw to first base. In time. Outstanding play by Mitchell Rotier. And now we're going to have time called. Wes Timmons might be asking for an appeal on that one. Nice play by Rotier, diving to his left. Long bouncing throw to first base. Evidently just in time to retire the Hawks designated hitter, Gavin Millines. Brief delay here. So it appears that it will stand as the second out of the inning. Six to three put out. Nice play by Mitchell Rotaire at shortstop. Base is empty now for Justin Barnes. First pitch to Barnes, down and in. Red Hodlin went with the breaking ball for the first pitch and missed in the dirt. Popped out of play foul. Barnes entered play today, a 216 hitter and 51 at bats, 11 hits, including two doubles and four RBIs. Barnes reaching base at a 333 percentage. Awaits the 1-1 one, one pitch. Breaking ball over the outside corner. Beautiful pitch from Will Hodelin. Strike two. Back door to breaking ball over the outside corner. Barnes in a 1-2 and two hole now with the bases empty and two outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. High chopper. Short stop. Rotier feels it. Quick throw. Not in time. Ball was dropped at first base by Vasquez, and Barnes reaches first base. We'll see how it's scored. It'll be a hit. An infield single by Justin Barnes will bring up Norman Leon with a man at first and two outs. It's going to be a tough play for Rotier anyway, a high chopper, and with Barnes' speed, he's able to leg it out for an infield single.
Leon chops one to shortstop. Rotier feels it again. Short way to the bag at second. And a fielder's choice, 6-4, to four, ends the Hawks inning in the fourth. No runs, one hit, and one man left. We head to the fifth, still scoreless in Rome. Ready to go here in the top of the fifth inning. Brendan Vasquez, the four-hole hitter. Ready to lead things off against Tanner Folds. Back out for his fifth inning of work. Vasquez grounded out to the shortstop Schroeder, who is playing in the shift as he is now. First pitch he grounds this one off to the right side and foul. Brief pause here as one of the members of the Alabama Huntsville bullpen goes down to retrieve that baseball. It bounced off the wall and made its way back into fair territory, so a necessary pause. And now we're ready to go. Pulls ahead, nothing in one. Down and out. Gets by Stockton. Ricochets off the backstop in front of the Hawks dugout. The third base coach and... One one pitch fouled back. One and two. Good, Tanner, good. Pulls ahead of all and two strikes. Pitch on the way. Up and in. That got him. That pitch got away from Folds. It hits Vasquez. And the Chargers have a leadoff man on here to start the fifth. Jackson Lindsay, the Chargers right fielder, will be the batter now. Lindsay 0 for 1 in the game. He bounced out to Norman Leon in his lone plate appearance. Breaking ball in for a strike. Nice pitch there from Tanner Folds. Breaking ball right over the outside corner for a strike. Pick off over to first by Folds, but not close. Vasquez back safely. Jackson Lindsay, six foot four, two hundred ten pound sophomore from Russellville, Alabama, product of Russellville High School. Breaking ball just missed the inside corner. Count even a ball and a strike, man at first. Nobody out in the inning. Chargers looking to grab a lead here in the fifth inning. Breaking ball on the ground to second base. Leon has some trouble with it. Goes to second anyway, and it's into left field. 
Vasquez on his way to third. Lindsay on his way to second base. And an error by the second baseman, Leon. Moves both runners up to second and third. A two base error by Norman Leon. And the Hawks have dug themselves a big hole here in the top of the fifth inning. Minutes second and third, nobody out. Caleb Mahan will be the batter. Caleb Mahan, 5'11", 185 pound freshman from Florence, Alabama, graduate of Florence High School. Looking to provide the Chargers with an early lead. Game tied 0-0. Zero to zero. In the air to right field. Might be deep enough to tag. Catch made by Pager. Throw is... A good one. It forces Vasquez back to the bag at third. Nice job by Jacob Pager and Wright, delivering a strike to the plate, and for the moment, keeping the Chargers off the scoreboard. So here now is Dylan Johnston. Same chance afforded to him as was Caleb Mahan. Chance to provide Alabama Huntsville with a lead here in the fifth inning. First pitch, chopper left side, foul. Jacob Woods over to field that one in foul territory. It goes to strike one on Dylan Johnston. Tanner Foles trying to work out of a major jam here in the top of the fifth inning. Two men on, one out, men at second and third. But first a trip to the mound by Craig Folds, the Hawks pitching coach. Folds departs, and we'll let the other folds on the team deal the baseball. 0-1 count on Dylan Johnston. Hawks trying to escape major trouble here in the fifth inning. Dylan Johnston, the batter, he singled into center field his first time up. Outside, ball one. One one. Strike called one and two. Johnston entering play today, a two forty two hitter, thirty three at best, eight hits, all singles, just two RBIs on the season. Strikeout here for Foles would be great. Here's the one two pitch. Fouled back. Nice job by Johnston to stay alive. All speed pitch. Just caught a piece. Three strikeouts on the afternoon for Foles, but looking for more. Another one, two. Got him swinging. Strike three. Johnston slams his bat on the dirt in frustration. He heads back to the dugout. He's out number two. Johnston chased after a fastball that was well up out of the zone. Foles now just an out away from escaping the jam unscathed. Mitchell Rotier, the Charger shortstop, is the batter. On the ground to second. Leon up with it to first base. In time. What a job by Tanner Folds to work out of a second and third. Nobody out jam. The Chargers come up empty as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning.
Hawks offense ready to go to work and hopefully break this scoreless tie. Still no score through four and a half innings of baseball here in game three. What a job by Tanner Foles. The Chargers had men at second and third. Nobody out after the error by the Hawks. Foles able to pitch around it without giving up a single run. Logan Stockton swings at the first one, skies it right side. Vasquez ranging into foul territory. He can't make the play. He's out of room. So luckily for Logan Stockton and the Hawks, that ball went over the wall foul. So instead of a first pitch out, it's a first pitch strike. Logan Stockton down, nothing in one. Hard hit ground ball left side, diving stop, easel to his feet, throw across in time. Chargers flashing the leather in the last few innings. This time it's Landon Easel with a diving stop to his left and a perfect throw to get Logan Stockton at first base. Logan Stockton robbed of a base hit. That'll bring up Jacob Pager. He bounced into a 6-4-3 inning inning double play back in the second inning. First pitch breaking ball. Down and in. Ball one. Fouled out of play. Jacob Pager, six foot even junior from Dunwoody, Georgia, graduate of St. Pius Catholic High School. Hit hard left side. That one's through a base hit. So this one does elude the grasp of Easel at third and Rotiered at short. A one out single by Jacob Pager brings up Jacob Woods. Second hit on this Sunday afternoon by Jacob Pager. He stands at first with one out of the inning. First pitch to Woods is down and in. Ball one. West Timmons relaying signs to Woods and Pager. We'll see if anything's on. A pickoff over to first base. Pager all over it. He scampers back to the bag. One zero from Hodelin. Outside, two and zero. Was searching for his first hit of the series, and with that miss, they'll draw out the Alabama Huntsville coaching staff. He'll come check on his starter, Will Hodelin. So the meeting has adjourned. Coaching staff departs back to the dugout. A 2-0 count on Jacob Woods. Looking to move Jacob Pager around from first base. Draw first blood in this one here in the bottom of the fifth inning. High and away, not close, 3-0. So some activity starting to spring up in the Chargers bullpen. Jackets being shredded. 3-0 pitch in for a strike, 3-1. Three and one count on the Hawks third baseman, Jacob Woods. One out of the inning, Pager the runner at first. Pitch from Hodelin, swung on and missed, strike two. Woods went after that one, would have been ball four in the dirt. Now a full count on Jacob Woods. Runners on the move. Pitch runs inside and hits him. Jacob Woods is hit by the pitch. Pager moves down to second. 
Woods the first two on, one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Here's Cody Krause. Runners at first and second, one out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Hawks have shown in this series they are not afraid to lay down a bunt. We'll see if that's up here with Cody Kraus. First baseman Vasquez is back. Third baseman Ezel just in front of the bag. Not showing bunt. He takes a strike instead. 0-1. Best chance to score a run for the Hawks yet. And at first and second, one out here in the fifth inning. Pagers running. Pitches the ball, the throw to third. Not in time. Also on the play, Wood steals second. A double steal of second and third. The Hawks now have two men in scoring position. Stolen base number 10 on the year for Pager. Now a golden opportunity. Infield comes in for the Chargers. One and one count on Cody Krause. Fastball just missed down and away. Not a bad spot at all there by Will Hodelin, but not get the call from the home plate umpire. First stolen base on the year for Jacob Woods, his steal of second. Pager representing the go-ahead run here in the fifth inning. Down and away, ball three. A walk here would load the bases for Tommy Schroeder. He waits on deck. Hodlin trying desperately to get some grip on this baseball, going to the dirt once more. He gears up for a three and one pitch against the Hawks center fielder. Pitch on the way. High drive out to right. Lindsay's looking up. A three-run blast. Cody Krause delivers. A three-run shot over the right field wall has made it three to nothing, Hawks. Cody Krause turns around a fastball and sends it on out. A mammoth three-run shot has given the Hawks a 3-0 lead and has knocked Will Hodlin out of the ballgame. New pitcher coming out of the pen for the Chargers will tell you.
New pitcher on the mound for the Chargers. It's number 10, Justin Peralt. Five foot, 10 inch righty, standing 145 pounds. A redshirt junior from Birmingham, Alabama. A graduate of Homewood High School. He'll come in, but the damage has been done. A three run shot over the right field wall by Cody Krause has given the Hawks a three run lead. Tommy Schroeder batting with the bases empty and one out. Takes high, ball one. For Peralt, a 9 ERA and 17 innings pitch. He's making his ninth appearance of the season. This one's popped in the shallow center field. Bodine coming in, slowing now, and making the grab. Out number two. So Schroeder flies out the center, and it's up to Kobe Jones if the Hawks are to continue the bottom of the fifth inning. First pitch from Peralt, misses down and in, ball one. pitch hit high in the air to left Tillman going back he's nearing the wall he puts it away for out number three but the big blow coming off the bat of Cody Krause a three-run blast over the right field wall has given the Hawks a three-run lead as we head to the sixth inning Tanner Foles ready to go here in the top of the sixth inning. The Hawks' Iron Man still on the mound. Between the two games of this doubleheader, he's worked seven and a third innings already. He'll be greeted first by Hunter Tillman, the left fielder, batting out of the nine spot for the Chargers to lead things off here in the top of the sixth inning. First pitch from Foles. Weak pop-up left side. Woods going back, twisting, turning. He can't make the catch. So we'll check the scoring. Woods was playing in, protecting against the bunt. Tillman flared it over his head, and it will be scored an error on Jacob Woods. So runner on here to start the sixth. Back to the top now for Garrett Bodine. Strike call, nothing in one. Chargers looking to fight back into this one. They're down by three, thanks to the three-run home run off the bat of Cody Kraus. Holds ready. His 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Bodine took a big hack at that one and came up empty for strike two. For Cody Kraus, his first homer of the year, coming in the fifth inning. 0-2. Chopper to third, over the head of Jacob Woods into left field, a base hit. Tillman will stop at second. 
an error followed by a single have brought the tying run to the plate with nobody out in the sixth inning. So here is Carson Vialta. And now you really have to tread carefully. Heart of the Chargers order coming up. Quiet day for Vialta, 0 for 2. He was struck out on a pitch clock violation in his last at bat. First pitch, fastball, perfectly placed right over the low outside corner, strike one. Holes checks the runner, second, now to the plate. Chopper, right side, Leon up with it. Second base one, no return throw from Schroeder. They'll take the fielder's choice, four to six on the put out, runners at the corners now and one out. The also board, Bodine erased on the fielder's choice, and Lyndon Easel will be the batter now. Easel entered play today with a team leading 438 average, 42 hits on the season, five doubles, and five home runs, and one here would tie this game. Runners at the corners, one out. Stroked in the air to center. Kraus turning around, moving back to the wall. It's off the wall. Vialta on his way to third. Easel pulling up into second. A one-out double brings home the Chargers' first run of the afternoon. It's a three-to-one ball game. So the Chargers cash in the error. Tillman comes around to score. Vialta moves up to third base. Easel a second, the tying run, and. Here comes Craig Foles, the Hawks pitching coach, to talk things over on the mound. So Foles departs. Big moment in this game. Runner second, runner third, tying run. Landon Easel stands at second base. Brennan Vasquez, the batter, representing the go-ahead run. Here's the pitch. Up the middle to Schroeder. He throws it to first base, and Vialta comes home to score. So they had both runners caught in between. It was a hard hit ball right back up the middle to Schroeder. But Schroeder elected to take the sure out, go on to first base. Second run comes home to score. It's now 3-2. to two. So give Vasquez the RBI. Easel the tying run, moves up to third base. Now with two outs. Here's Jackson Lindsay. First pitch to him. Hit hard right side and through a base hit. And Jackson Lindsay has tied this game. So almost as quickly as the Hawks took the lead, the Chargers fight right back and tie it up. And once again, we have a ball game. We're tied 3-3. Three to three. Runner first now, two outs for Caleb Mahan. 0 for 2 day for the Chargers' designated hitter. First pitch swinging. He fouls this one off to the right side. Out of play. One count on Mahan. Pitch misses down and away. Chargers dugout has come back to life. Three runs coming in the top of the sixth. Answering back to the three-run home run off the bat of Cody Krause. Breaking ball fouled. Back to the screen. One and two. One-two pitch from Folds. 
Swing and a miss. He strikes out Mahan. Stockton makes the throw down to first. But three runs for the Chargers on two hits and one error by the Hawks have allowed the Chargers to tie this game at three. We head to the bottom of the sixth, three to three. Gavin Millines up to bat first here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Looking to break this tie. It stands at three runs apiece. First pitch from Justin Peralt. Floats in there for a strike, nothing in one. 0 for 2 day at the plate for Millines here in game three. Takes down and out for ball one. Peralt ready. The 1-1. One -one. Fastball misses high and away. Milan's looking to reach. Justin Barnes on deck. Leon behind him. Nearing a conclusion here in this one. Bottom of the sixth inning. Millines goes after that one in the dirt and chops it foul. Game three of the series, only seven innings because of the doubleheader. So Hawks have just six offensive outs left to try to win game three. Peralt winds his 2-2. Chopper left side, deep third base. Ezel up with it, throw across in time to retire Millines. One out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. That'll bring up Justin Barnes. First pitch misses inside to Barnes, 1-0. Two hit day for Justin Barnes. Two for two out of the cleanup spot for the Hawks today. Down low, 2-0. Oh. Up the middle and through a base hit. Justin Barnes stays hot, a three-hit performance here in game three. Ground ball single right up the middle. There's a man aboard and one out for Norman Leon. Hawks looking to make something happen here in the bottom of the sixth inning. 
pick off the first base. Nice job by Brennan Vasquez to smother that baseball. Errant throw from Justin Peralta on the mound. Vasquez comes off, scoops it out, and prevents Barnes from advancing. Working from the stretch now. First pitch to Leon. Swing and a miss. Well out in front of that changeup. Nothing in one. Over two day here in game three for Leon. A fly out and a six to four fielder's choice. Pick off the first again, but Barnes had barely taken a step off the bat. Breaking ball hammered into center field, a base hit. The Hawks will play it station to station. Back to back singles in the center by the Hawks. And the Hawks appear ready to answer right back. Two consecutive hits bring Logan Stockton to the plate. Eighth hit of the ball game for the Hawks. Stockton one for two here in game three. Looking to bring home Justin Barnes from second and provide the Hawks with the lead yet again. Stockton takes a strike. Fastball there from Peralta over the outside corner. Nice pitch to get ahead. Stockton entered play today, a 242 hitter. His first home run of the season in game two of the series. Time called by the catcher, Johnston, and he will go take a visit to talk to his pitcher, Justin Peralt. He will draw in the rest of the infield as well. So whether this is to talk strategy or buy a little more time for the bullpen to finish getting loose, it's a wise move by Dylan Johnston. Hawks threatening. Two runners on here in the bottom of the sixth inning. One out. And an 0-1 count on the Hawks catcher, Logan Stockton. The shortstop and the third baseman, Mitchell Rotier and Landon Easel, respectively, depart the meeting, followed now by Vialta and Vasquez. Johnson trots back to his position behind the plate. Fielders reset, and we are once again ready to play. one to Stockton. Off the end of his bat, right side, and off the screen foul. Not Stockton's best swing. Pitch ran inside. Just able to fight it off to the right. He's in an 0-2 hole. Two and two. Nothing in two. The count on Logan Stockton. Justin Barnes, the runner at second. Norman Leon, the runner at first. Here it is. Down and away. Johnston, the catcher, reaching across. Backhanded grab. Pitch to Stockton. Down and away. in on one out, bottom of the sixth inning. Game tied at three. Time called. So now a time warning on the pitcher. That'll be a ball on Justin Peralt. So the count is now full. Three and two. Second clock infraction committed today by the Chargers. They've had a strikeout at the plate. Now a ball on Justin Peralt to make it a three and two full count on Logan Stockton. Runners on the move, pitches in the dirt. It's ball four. So the pitch clock violation does come back to hurt Justin Peralt and the Chargers. On what should have been ball three, ball four is in the dirt. 
It allows Stockton to move to first. Norman Leon to second. Justin Barnes to third. And out of the dugout pops Hunter Royer, the Alabama Huntsville head coach. And this could spell the end for Justin Peralt. Trey Wright, number 23, the righty, standing six foot one, 190 pound junior from Huntsville, Alabama, transfer from Wallet Huntsville Community College. Well, come on in a big spot. Bases loaded, one out, facing Jacob Pager in a tied ball game, three to three. Bottom of the sixth inning, Hawks looking to reclaim the lead. First pitch from Wright in the dirt, ball one. Major singled into left his last time, stole a base, and eventually came around to score. One and zero count on the Hawks' right fielder. Right working from the stretch delivers. Inside that one nearly got him. Pager dancing out of the way of that one. A walk or a hit batter would bring home a run for the Hawks. Right, a 7.94 ERA and 11 in the third innings pitched. Deals the 2-0. Down low, 3-0. Nowhere to put Jacob Pager. And ball four here would bring home the go-ahead run in the bottom of the sixth inning. Hawks dugout comes to life. Trey Wright with nowhere to put him. He's ready. The 3 0. Call strike. Right on the low inside corner. Pitch didn't catch the strike zone by much, but got just enough, according to the home plate umpire. The same situation still applies. Three balls and a strike on Pager. Inside. This one's ball four, and the go ahead run comes across to score. Give Pager the RBI walk. Barnes comes home to score. And here comes Jacob Woods with the Hawks looking to add on for their late lead. Go, 
First pitch to Woods. Taking all the way, it's a strike. So much like the Hawks had done in game two of the series, the Chargers have walked in the go-ahead run. Charge that run to Justin Peralt. Woods swings and sends one in the air to left. Coming on Tillman, he makes the catch. Leon's going to tag the throw, goes to second base. Coming home to score is Norman Leon, and the sacrifice fly by Jacob Woods makes it a two-run Hawk lead. Here's Cody Krause, his swing of the bat back in the fifth inning, gave the Hawks at the time a 3-0 lead. The Chargers fought back in the top half of the sixth inning to tie it at three, and the Hawks have answered back with two runs of their own. Lead stands now at 5-3, but still looking for more with two on and two out. In the dirt, nice job by Dylan Johnston to scoop that one out and keep the runners from moving up. We got number five on the year for Woods. Krause looking for a few more of his own here. Stockton, the runner at second. Pager at first. Pitch from right. Down and away. Hawks have doubled the Chargers in the hit column. Eight to four. 2-0 pitch. Fouled away. Krause out in front of that one. Trey Wright making his 12th appearance of the season. All of them in relief. Surrendered 10 earned runs on the season. 12 walks to just 7 strikeouts. Two and one count on the Hawks center fielder. Here it is from right. In the dirt, it gets away from Johnston, and both runners will move up 90 feet into scoring position. So a hit here from Krause could bring home two more and widen this cushion, which currently stands at two runs. As we just saw from the Chargers offense, they scored three runs in the top of the sixth in what felt like the blink of an eye. The Hawks looking for all the insurance runs they can get. Stockton at third, Pager at second. And a three and one count on Cody Krause with the top of the order looming. Grounded, second base. Vialta up with it. Third one to first base. Will retire the side. But the Hawks strike back for two more. We head to the seventh inning with the Hawks looking to close out a series victory.
Tanner Foles back on the mound here in the seventh inning looking to collect the final three outs and give the Hawks a doubleheader sweep and a series victory over the University of Alabama Huntsville. The Hawks beat these same Chargers two out of three in Rome last year looking for repeat results this year. First man to greet him is Dylan Johnston, the Chargers catcher. Swing and a miss. Holt started him off with a breaking ball, and Johnston whiffed right over the top of it. Strike one. Foles winds the 0-1. Drops it in. Strike two. Nice change up from Foles over the outside corner. Way ahead of the catcher, Johnston. No balls and two strikes. Weekly. Off the glove of Foles to the shortstop Schroeder. Off balance throw. Got him. What a play by Tommy Schroeder. Keeps the ever important leadoff man off base to start the top of the seventh inning. Foles outstretching his glove on that one. Schroeder coming charging in from his shortstop position. Off balance throw to first base to get his man by a step. One out in the top of the seventh inning. This one misses up and away to Mitchell Rotier. Ball one. Foles, should he finish the conclusion of this game, combining the seven innings here with the two and a third he pitched last game, would be over a complete game's worth of work. Stroked into center field, a one out single. So we'll see what kind of leash Henner Foles is on here in the top of the seventh inning. Approaching his ninth inning of work here in this game. Looked like Foles will be allowed to continue facing the ninth spot in the order, Hunter Tillman. Lefty lefty matchup. Hawks looking for a ground ball double play to end the game. Tying run at the plate. Pitch down. In the dirt, blocked by Stockton. Tillman has hit into a double play in this game, but it was a line-out double play to the second baseman, Leon. 1-0. In the air to right, but hooking well foul. With a win today, here in game three, the Hawks' record would improve back to over 500. Currently stands at 12 and 12. One ball, one strike, one on, one out, the pitch. On the ground right side, Leon with a dive. He can't get it, it's through into right field. A base hit, tying run aboard here in the top of the seventh inning. Here comes the top of the Chargers order, and here comes Wes Timmons out of the dugout. And it looks like that's going to be all today for Tanner Folds. But what an effort it was from the Hawks lefty. Working two and a third scoreless innings of relief in game two of the series. And working six and a third innings of three-run baseball here in game three. Trevor Nanny coming to the mound for the Hawks. He will toss his warm-up pitches and we'll be right back.
Trevor Nanny, number 40 on the mound for the Hawks. The six foot four senior from Shelby, North Carolina, looking to get the final two outs in this one and send the Hawks home victorious with a doubleheader sweep. It won't be an easy task, however, as he'll be greeted by the top of the order in Garrett Bodine, the Charger center fielder, tying run at first base in the form of Hunter Tillman. Odin singled to left his last time up, one for three on the day. Nanny, check of the runner, now to the plate. Breaking ball, in for a strike, nothing and one. In game one of the series, Nanny with a Herculean effort on the mound. Five innings of relief, no runs, one strikeout, one walk, and just four hits allowed. Appearing here looking to go the final two-thirds. Fastball outside, ball one. One and one. Nanny from the stretch. Fastball just missed upstairs, ball two. Chargers looking to mount a comeback and tie or perhaps even take the lead here in the game's final inning. Trevor Danny and the Hawks trying to end it right here. Breaking ball, strike two. Another curveball from Danny, another strike. That levels the count at two and two. Garrett Bodine climbing in. Bat out in front of his face, casting his eyes on the Hawks hurler, Trevor Danny. Awaiting a 2 2 pitch. Just missed. Right off the outside corner, and the count runs full. Three and two. A walk here will move the tying run into scoring position at second, and the go ahead run on first base. Here it is from Nanny. Up, and Nanny lost them. Ball four. Rotier at third. Tillman at second, Bodine at first, Carson Vialta at the plate. Uncharacteristically quiet day at the plate for him here in game three. 0 for 3. Hawks play him to pull. Schroeder the shortstop on the second base side of the bag. First pitch, grounded right side and foul. Nanny looking in, gets his sign from Stockton, sets and delivers. Down and away, ball one. For Trevor Nanny on the season, a 0, 0.00 ERA, making his 11th appearance, 21 and two-thirds scoreless innings on the year for Trevor Nanny. Tanner Foles, the starter, responsible for the runners at second and third. Pitch from Nanny, just missed, down and away. Not a bad miss at all there from Trevor Nanny, just off the low outside corner. And a 2 and one count now against Carson Vialta. On the ground, right side, Leon, second base one, throw from Schroeder, not in time. Almost a game ending 4-6-3 double play, but Vialta able to leg it out. The fourth run of the game comes home to score for the Chargers. Tying run moves up to third. And here comes Wes Timmons. See if he will allow Trevor Nanny to continue in this ball game, talking things over with his infield. Tying run at third. Go ahead run at first. Give Vialta the RBI on the fielder's choice. Landon Easel. 
will be the batter. Easel doubled home a run his last time up off of Tanner Folds. Trevor Nanny looking to retire him here and in this ball game. Tying run at third. Runners at the top of the seventh inning. First pitch to Easel misses down and in for ball one. Pitch from Nanny. Swing and a miss. Easel well out in front of that change up from Nanny. A ball and a strike. Thrilling conclusion here in Rome. Game coming down to the final out. Grounded, left side, Woods, up with it. Throw across, in time! The Hawks have done it. They sweep the doubleheader and win two out of three against the University of Alabama Huntsville. Outstanding effort on the mound from Tanner Folds and Trevor Nanny to wrap this one up. And the Hawks are victorious, five to four. Tanner Folds goes almost nine innings across two games. A Herculean effort on the mound and a Herculean effort in the series by Trevor Nanny. He gets the final two outs here in game three after pitching five scoreless innings in game one. Once again, the Hawks win. Final score, five to four. Hawks record improves to 13 and 12, a game over 500 with their win today against the University of Alabama Huntsville. Final line for the visiting Chargers. Four runs on six hits, no errors. For the Hawks, five runs on eight hits and two errors in the field. The Hawks' next game is on Tuesday at 2 p.m. against Clark Atlanta University. My name is John Warner. Thank you for watching along today, and I hope to see you on Tuesday afternoon.